What? Okay, my timer's fucking up, D-Class. Give me a moment. Let me fix that. Timer! So, hold on, let me fix this. So, obviously, it's fucking up. It's not 33 hours. Don't know why it's at that. Boom. Add time. Wait, set timer to that. Okay, since you're not wanting to cooperate. We'll do it this way. Damn piece of crap. Oh wait. I chose the wrong one. I chose window instead of browser. God damn it. Okay. Uh, the worst browser, worst browser. There it is. Ignore that. It's not 33 hours. Let me refresh the Marathon Timer website. I think that website's fucked up. Yes. Fucking pain in the ass. Thank you. God damn. Pain of my existence. Oops, did not mean to do that. Get Eris the little 55 and take down the bitch, the fighting type bitch. And I'll be in. End of Team Star. God damn it. Okay. 
Yeah, you can't escape me, bitch. You will. Your blood will be spread upon these lands. So many Lux Rays, which is good because they gave a lot of experience. I thought I could jump over the mall. Got another Luxray. Kill. Ursary and kill them as well. Oh shit. I can heal, unlike you. That does not affect me. Your scary face does not affect me whatsoever. I will still murder you and heal. He just murder you. Oh wow, good. More of you to murder. That gives a lot of experience. I like murder. I must cause murder. Ouch. That hurt. Uh oh. I may be at a disadvantage. Yes. Heal, Grand Inferno.
<laughs> yeah, I'm gonna heal Grand Inferno after this. Defiant! <laughs> Damage you've done is being healed. Must murder this bishop. Yeah, well, man, I forgot to tweet. I mean, I'm a Perfectly amazing streamer. Since that tweet's been back. I can now go back to murdering. Oh god damn it, I forgot to heal. God damn it. Fucking cricket bitch. None of you can catch up to me now. I am much faster than the likes of you. I'm just, just playing the piano, that's all. There's nothing wrong with playing the piano. And now this guy will immediately be murdered by the crocodile. <laughs> yes, this Luxray must die. Uh, I just love murdering. 
Murdering is fun. Pokemon's having issues. <laughs> I'm about to murder the parent of these children. And there's nothing they can do about it. to get your ass kicked. And now credit for us all 79. Where is the Luxray when you need one? Speaking of Luxray... Oh, god damn it! No, I didn't want to kill an orphan. That's for later. I wanted to kill an orphan's parent. <laughs> Pokemon and Garter Force ready. So uh, then I'll just heal up all my Pokemon and take down that fighting gym bitch. Oh, why did I use Shadow Ball? What a fucking moron. I was supposed to burn him to a crisp. I'm an idiot. Yes. So he won't be a berry. Yeah, 
Yes. All Pokemon of mine will be moved. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I need to give items back. Does just have ground? I actually don't think anyone has. Now I will give this guard shop. So yeah, I don't think I have any. Get the Pokemon. Bet you. Good to you. Get that to you. Let's fuck that. No one's falling asleep. I'm lazy to go there myself. I'm too lazy. Just, I'm just riding over there. I'm just gonna fly. So yeah, Grand Inferno is ready to take down this motherfucker. Yeah, well, I'm beat the shit out of this boss again. Nothing you can do about it. We already heard our forest line, so we don't need to hear him again. I'm about to whoop your ass. Yeah, it's super effective, but it doesn't do much. <laughs> now watch how much damage I do. <laughs> Just one shot. <laughs> Fuck you. And now I'm slowly gonna heal the damage you did. Fuck it, I'll, I'll switch it out for him. Yeah, I can switch out for him and use Dig. How is fighting super effective against Lucario? One shot, bitch. <laughs> okay, so he's ghost. I think 
I'll switch out you. Yeah. You get crunch. Yeah, bitch. Oh, I thought Crunch would be good against him. Oh. Now I'm not so worried. Oh, yeah, that did, that did damage. That, that did good damage. That did bad amount of damage. Yeah, but um. <laughs> Goodbye, Annihilate. The one bitch I hate the most. Oh, fuck. That did damage. That did a lot of damage. All right, Bramble Ghast. I believe in you. At least hit him. Yes, your speed stats awesome, Bramble Ghast. Yeah. Fuck you, Annihilate. No longer seeing any more of you, bitch. I'll switch out for Garchomp. If I think it's the right one I'm thinking of. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I was thinking of Persian. Can't it me now, bitch! Ooh, that did. Oof, that hurt. But I did a decent amount of damage. And bye bye. down. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm... You won't see me. I, you can't hurt me, bitch. Oh. Haha. <laughs> Uh, it, you're, all you're doing is just ramping up your speed. But I mean, if I keep avoiding your attacks, that's not gonna help you. Oh, fuck you. You're just gonna keep doing it so you can one-shot everyone. Fuck you. On. That's not fair. Hi, huh, your speed won't go any higher. Hi, huh, can't hurt me now, bitch. Constantly keep using dig. Uh oh. <laughs> Never mind.
Okay. I, I, the only thing is I have to hope and pray that Garfor doesn't get one-shotted. Psychic. So I can superpower Psychic. Please go first, Eris. Garchomp did their best to knock them down for you. I mean, Lemon, not Garchomp. Why are you saying Garchomp? Okay. We're good. Prepare to die, motherfucker. And you're gone. <laughs> One shot it, bitch. I'm so sorry, everyone. So sorry. I think I went a little too far. Nah, don't worry about it. We're the ones who actually put us through some tough battle practice so we can train up. Yeah, but... Truly, you do not need to apologize, my lady. Thanks to thy sage instruction, I'm making swift strides towards mastering the art of battle. And I can never have evolved my Pokemon without you, Airy. Even a big boss says it's thanks to you that we have a fighting chance against our bullies. See? Nothing but gratitude to us. You're the brightest star in the whole team. <laughs> Come on, quit being silly. Just one thing. We've been training for four whole hours now. I am totally pooped. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. You all really should take a break. I'll go for a run while you rest up. My lady, we... You four have trained in our turn, but free, but you, our steadfast mentor, have rested not once. I cannot help but worry for thy health. Thank you for your concern, Atticus. But lately, I feel like I can take anything, even if I'm, if I'm really tired or feel like crying. Remember that time we all got together and rifled the, on the gym badges designs to create our very own star badges? Well, I don't know what it is, but just looking at my star badge makes me feel so strong. Like I want to give it my all. I gave it my all, but it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. You showed amazing strength. Even if the code didn't require me to give it to you, I want you to have it. Oh, that's cute. <clears throat> oh, my throat hurts. I see thy out my trademark move too. Here, this one's for you. Ooh, that actually is a good move. But it also lowers defense, and I don't like that, so I'm not going to give it the Garchomp. I know you're a part of Operation Starfall, but I can tell from our battle that you're not a bad person. The way your Pokemon look at you with such trust gives it away. Do me a favor and look away for a moment. This is a bit much for me to take. I just really, really... And she went to cry. Looks like it's all over. Oh, Riri. This is Team, so uh, team Star me member you battled at the gates earlier. I asked her to come along for a talk. So what did you want to ask me? 
seem to be much friendlier terms with Airy compared to the other grunts. Why is that? Oh, you spotted that? Well, alright, I don't mind telling you. Truth is, I used to hate Riri. She's an amazing trainer and athlete, and she's really pretty too. It took her no time at all to become popular at the Academy. I was the queen of the class before she came along. But then everyone liked her more than me. So let me guess. You started to pick on her. Pretty much. I got our classmates to join in too. We were all so stupid. But in the end, kids are always fickle. And once one throw wears off, they look for something new. Before long, the class chose me as their next target and started bullying me instead. I guess I deserved it, but then... Riri, she chose to help me, even though I've been so horrible to her. She told me that she understood how hard it is to have no one on your side. She invited me into Team Star. Even after you bullied her like that? What a kind girl. She really is, and joining the team has worked out, out great for us. It's been so much fun. Fun? There are rumors that Team Star likewise engages in bullying. If they hear my story, do you really think that's true? Uh, no. I merely... Maybe the rest of Team Star made me who I am today. Please don't take away our greatest treasure. Alright, so all that's left is take down the team leader. Aaron Wright, it's me. Did you do it? Did you claim Aerie's star badge? Without its boss, the Saf Squad should be at hair's breadth from disbanding. So Aerie was the last. All five squad bosses have been toppled from their pedestals. I imagine they'll leave Team Star before long now that they've lost their special positions. After that, they should be back attending classes at the Academy. Nice work out there, Aaron. Set Clive, I hear. <laughs> Sorry. Cannoli, well done to you too. Thanks. Now about your reward, Aaron. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone. As promised. Holy shit, I have 200,000 LP. Where did that come from? <laughs> Oh, that reminds me. I'm doing a whole supply unit rep thing this time, right? Indeed, you can go ahead and give Erin her bonus reward now. At long last, Operation Starfall has entered its final stage. There's only one thing left on the agenda. You must defeat the big boss and have Team Star disband for good. Where's the big boss? Don't worry, there's no need to search them out. The true identity of the big boss is none other than me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep it from you for so long. The right moment never came. I know one who formed Team Star back then, and the members of, team, of the team were my closest friends. And I treasure them more than anything. If they go on like this, Team Star won't do any good for anyone. They've got to give up, give it up. So I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. Aaron, I've been waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. Understood. Then I'll see you both there. So... Canole was the big boss of Team Star this whole time. 
I scarcely thought it possible. But with this revelation, I just might have an inkling as to their true identity. It seems we'll find our answers after dark in the Academy schoolyard. Let's prepare as best we can before heading over. So I want to go ahead and heal and see what TMs I can make. If I can make Earthquake, I'm going to try my hardest to get it to that way so Garchomp can have it. Cause, I mean, Lemon can have it because Lemon needs Earthquake. Yeah, I only lost two Pokemon that time. That was not that bad. Especially <laughs> with Grand Inferno being at level 79. <laughs> Grand Inferno just like one shotted two Pokemon. Alright, let's see what new shit I got. Probably not gonna be down to near the bottom though. Dragon Tail, that's new. Venice Shock, that's also really good. But no. I've got better poison type moves than that. Dig. Sin Head, but that's also really good. But no. Oh, hi, Dragon. I Hello. De I defeated uh, the fighting type uh, person. Oh. I decided, yeah. to see, uh, I decided, you know what? Let's just have Grand Inferno be in the front. Mm -hmm. They're weak to fighting. They're going to get hurt badly. Grand Inferno is a ghost type. Yeah, but he's also weak to fighting. Like, he it's super effective. Fighting what... a normal? Wait. I don't. I thought Ghost's gonna be hit by fighting or normal type. Well, it said it's super effective when it hit me, but it only right. took like 20 points of health, and when I used Flamethrower, it, it one-shotted them. I was like, well, mm -hmm. this is a power of level 79. Oh wait, was it the spin-out move? Because the spin-out move is a steel type move, and I think... No, I think That's they use like, br uh, yeah, they use close combat. Huh? Well, it hit. Uh, don't question it. That shouldn't. That what? Yeah, ghost types have a total immunity to normal and fighting. That what? Well, maybe the fire typing it kicked in. No, because they would still be affected by the ghost types, and the ghost types have total immunity. Not only that, fire isn't weak against fighting. Well, I don't know what to tell you, Dragon. It, it says super effective. <laughs> you got fucked over by the game. Yeah. Well, time to redo an hour of making totally ethical apples. Ooh. Aurosphere. What? Definitely gonna need to get that move before. Wait, I can't teach Aurosphere to go. Okay. I could have sworn you could have taught Aura Spear to Garchomp. No, you can't. Why is my Snow Golem decapitated? No, go, go back. There's go only back. one move I really need to give uh, Lemon, which is mm -hmm. Earthquake. Oh, yeah, Earthquake's really fucking good. I have a plan. Okay. I have a plan. I need to- God, my desk is a mess. If I- uh, since my art tablet is more of like a second a screen sometimes, I'm going to use my f actual monitor for Pokemon in my second screen or whatever else. Damn. I think our trouble will learn Earthquake at level 65 though. So I don't need to rush. Yeah. Oh, shit! Okay, mm -hmm. I'm giving this to Garchomp. Lemon, I mean. 
Um, Lemon can learn Thunder Fang. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> I did not know they could do that. <laughs> Lemon. Ow. I can't believe Sonic the Hedgehog died by eating a lemon. Or was it Shadow? I think it was Sonic. It was Sonic the Hedgehog. He fucking exploded. Oh my god. Wait, what? what? Lemon can learn liquidation? Yeah. You know what, to be honest, I'll give... Is there anything Dragon is strong against? Uh, one moment. Dragon's strong against Dragon. I want to get rid of Crunch because Liquidation does five more attack power. Uh... And I already have a bunch of Dark type moves on other team members, so I don't need another one. I'm pretty sure Dragon is only good against Dragon. That's that that can't be. That can't. Well, now my team is probably overpowered thanks to Grand Inferno. <laughs> Who just basically goes around one shotting everything. Weird. They're only saying it's strong against Dragon, but I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Wait a minute, there's Ash. Oh wait, I was about to say there was two areas where it had that weird thing where Well, I'm about to take on you said that they're easy, right? Uh yeah. Alright, well that's well I mean it's probably gonna be easier for me because you probably didn't have a level 79 <laughs> Grand Inferno. <laughs> <laughs> Grand Inferno's just gonna walk up and burn a bitch. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's about to happen. Sup, Aaron. Five. Yep, that's my name. Actually, no, it's time to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. <laughs> yeah, I knew the entire time, you dumb fuck. I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of Yuva Academy. Dr. Mr. Clavel, a clavicle. Oh. Yes, it must be quite the shock. My disguise was perfect after all. No, it wasn't. Regardless, there is still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. The true identity of Cannoli the big boss of Team Star was me all along. For real? Honest to goodness. We heard Cannoli over the phone. That was actually a pre-recorded voice. I pulled it off using, er, you know, one of those high-tech gizmos. Oh yes, it was very clever. So, Miss Aaron, now you know I'm the big boss. That means there's only one thing left to do. Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. Huh. I That's not what I was expecting. I thought it would be Penny. Yeah. But old man knows how technology works. Oh god, you have to face against the goddamn monkey that keeps spamming yawn. <laughs> it is incredibly tanky. Uh, oh, didn't- what? 
I also gave uh, Grand Inferno leftovers. So basically, I just made Grand Inferno overpowered. Because <laughs> they can constantly oh, if you wanna heal. Make, if you want to make Flamethrower overpowered, uh, you can buy from one of the deli bird shops on the, that show up on the map. Uh, you can actually get a piece of charcoal and you can give it to him and it'll make his power fire type moves more powerful. Uh, Poltergeist, uh, switch Pokemon. So yeah, Gardevoir. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, is it Psychic or Fairy that Ghost is not good against? Uh... Ifogor. I know Dark Type's good against, uh, Fairy Types. Not Fairy oh, Types. Oh, it's no. all effective, so none of them. <laughs> yeah, Dark Type's what you use against Ghosts. But Ghost is also good against Ghosts, so... Alright. Well, not in this case. It said effective. Mm -hmm. So we're sitting out in. And I just made her attack weaker. Wow. Yeah, that that that, that didn't do much, but. Yeah, I'm just fucking clavicle up. Weak armor defense fell. <laughs> You're just making yourself weaker. Why are you doing that? Who oh, no. knows? Well, it does raise its attack. Yeah. And you are on fire. How do you light a giant fucking scaly ass fish on fire? You don't know. You'll never know. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That wasn't good. Uh... Grand Inferno, I believe in you. I just hope your speed stat is higher. Fuck! Oh! Grand Inferno hang in there! Hey, hung in there! Yes! <laughs> Fuck you! Oh! Grand Inferno hung in there like a champ! Houndoom. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> Wait, wait! No, this would be even better. Ha sending out the chonk. Le Go. Chonk de boy. I just love the chonks so much, and I want a plushie of them. Oh, I, I, I 100% believe that they're going to make a plushie of the chonk, the uh, chonk, and the chonk. Like, that earthquake. is a marketable boy. Yes. Suffer by my earthquake, bitch. <laughs> oh, actually, okay, so you know how that hound doom that you encounter at the start of the game, where you have to be saved from it by the legendary, right? Right yeah. on? Did you know, so you know the locking on feature where you can, like, you, so you can actually see the hound door before you get attacked by it. It's standing over, like, a young goose. Uh, and you can't, like, get it. But you can lock onto it, it's level 40. Oh, dear god. Yeah. I tried to throw a Pokeball at it, seeing if you could fight it. You could not. Yeah, I need to heal Grand Inferno first. Otherwise, they're gonna get... either killed or really hurt. You use a grass type move on a fire type. You are a dumbass. It's very possible that Obama Snow only knows fighting type moves. Flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> Just one shot. 
wait for it. <laughs> Heal! Amoongus. Oh, that's also a plant oh, wait, type. that's not the one. The, the one after Amoongus, I think. Yeah, the one after Amoongus. Which means I'll send in the chonk. Just one shot. So you know about the the little duck that you left at the start of the game that no one chose. Oh, okay. So I know exactly who to send in it, and this time then. I actually don't know what uh, type. I know there's duck. still gonna be water. Yeah, it's water something. And now I get to see the final evolution to this. What the fuck? <laughs> What's wrong, Bright? You don't like it? No. You don't like the sassy gay duck? Are they gonna turn- if they turn into a water, that's just gonna make them extremely weak to the move I'm about to use. You dumb motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you couldn't tell, uh, my internet went out for a while. Uh-oh. Oh! Eris at three hell! It didn't kill. Shit. Yeah, they're gonna hit first. Fuck, I didn't set up the eggs properly, god damn it. Oh wait, I can just send in the chonk. They can't get hurt by water. <laughs> Why didn't I just send in the chonk? <laughs> Earthquake, bitch. Oh, of course you use ice spinner. Fuck you. Oh. Oh, Chunky Boy dead. No, Chunky Boy sad. Actually, okay, since you're planning on doing the entire Pokédex, uh, apparently most of the starters from previous games are back, so that's fun. Uh, but I don't think they're a version exclusive. I, I think you can get all of them, thankfully. Jesus fuck, that would be annoying. Um, but, uh, you, okay. So you can, you know how you get a regular Wooper, right? You don't, you get the non-muddy version of Wooper. Yeah. You can actually evolve that, but the, uh, but it doesn't count on the Pokédex. So, yeah, you don't have to get that with the girls. Come on, take it in. Oh, Bramble Guest. Let's oh, go. yes. Oh, you took it like a champ, Bramble Guest. What a good, what a good little dead thing. Oh, you. Good job, Bramble Cast. Oh, what a good lad. <laughs> this is why we, you stay on the team. <laughs> That's right, bitch. He whooped your ass. I'm also gonna need to get items for everyone on the team. I mean, I got Garchomp's thing for like his brick break. He got, he's got the muscle band, which improves his physical type moves. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. If you want to give items to all of your party members to improve their moves for specific typings, uh, so yeah. again, the deli store, you go to one of those, but they have different items, specifically like battle items. They have different items mm -hmm. per store, so you have to check out different stores. But the one in the main city has like basic stuff that should be able to cover most of your team. Got it. <gasps> oh, shit. Well, M Miss Aaron Bright, it seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. I am, I am not actually cannoli. Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie behind you. Cannoli's true identity remains hidden. But I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may be. That is why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. 
However, it can only has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student sh could hope to stand against them and win. So I challenged you to a battle to test your skill. If you had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cannoli, such as was my resolve. But it turns out you are strong, as you are kind. If anyone has a chance of saving that poor child, it is surely you. As an educator, it shames me to burden one of my students with such a task. But please defeat Cannoli. Take on the big boss of Team Star and win. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I leave this in your hands. You there, what what do you think you're doing? Ah, Miss Time. A pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Miss Cla Clavicle. I came to investigate reports of an illicit battle on the school grounds, and what do I find? Why, the director of the academy himself, facing off against one of our students, no less. What were you thinking? Uh, no, if I could just explain. You see, it is a rather sad tale. Oh, spare me. Your excuse freaks worse than a stunk than a st stunky's behind. A, st a stunky's be behind? Ahem. Remember the big boss access to meet them in the school yard after dark? I'm counting on you, Miss Aaron Bright. Alright. You'll write a letter and apology to the students and faculty at once. And I'll be reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board. Make no mistake. Good gracious, no. A a anything but that, I implore you. God damn it. But we still have no idea who the fuck it was. I thought you, you looked it up. I could have lied. Well, now I gotta heal first. Cause my Pokemon got their ass. No, not. Well, some of them got their butts kicked. My alarm for getting eggs doesn't like isn't going through my microphone because it is very loud. No. Okay, that's good. I'm also gonna need to buy. Yeah, I think first thing I'm gonna need to do. is get items to improve power and then well I'm also gonna need to get full restores I got plenty of revives I just need full restores damn they're expensive mm -hmm. good thing I have a lot of LP <laughs> I have 200 grand of LP. Alright, so now I need to figure out where the fuck the deli bird stores are. Oh, uh, zoom in again. Zoom in. At, okay, go to this. Go to this. Okay, zoom in. Yeah, there we are. It's one of the bag icons. A uh, deli bird presence. There we go. Yeah. Actually, okay, so fun fact. So, do you care about- Okay, this is a technical spoiler for one of the forms in your game. But it's only one. Do you care? Maybe. It, this is a yes or no question, because I'm about to spoil one form for you. Or will you? Well, I don't know if you know it or not. But, okay. So, do you care? Because there's 50-50 that you may or may not know about it. Maybe. That is, not, that is a restaurant. Oh. Go for broke grill. Uh, it should have a deli. It's red and it has a deli bird on it. 
I don't see that. Mm, you'll have to walk around a bit then. Or like, okay, go back on your map and look. No, that's that's my fault. Come on. Zoom in again. Zoom in. Bag. Keep going. Darn. There we are. There we are. Okay. Battle items. Miracle Sea, Boost Dollars, Grass Tack News. Okay, that could be good for Bramble Ghast. Of cash. And that's obviously... Miss Water. Water type moves. That could be great for N. It's the expert bell. I love the fact that you can buy focus bands in this game now. Because I remember, I'm pretty sure in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, to beat a uh, strategy to beat the final boss, uh, like the Ultra and the Prosma. Was mm -hmm. to have a Pokemon with a like a weak Pokemon with Focus Band that new Quick Attack. Oh, I think it was Retaliate and then have a Pokemon that new Quick Attack. But the only Pokemon that knew retali Retaliate, I think, was Hula uh, Huanch. It's fucking Flying Bird shit. Want these? Ah, God damn it! What the fuck is this motherfucker's name? Lot. Wabba I hate his name. You know what, since the Chonk has Earthquake and a lot of heavy hitting moves, I think Razor Claw would actually be good for them. For them because it boosts the critical hit ratio. That would make them... Oh, Halucha, Halucha. Uh, Sorry. Halucha knew Retaliate. I think he was the only Pokemon that naturally learned Retaliate. Yeah. I think I just got everyone's items in one Fuck store. Yeah. Why are they all holding berries? Okay, so focus band. Wait. No, not use the item. Give the item to Gardevoir. Because they keep getting their ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> See, Miracle Seed. You will go to Brandle Gas. Oh. Well, they're all holding berries because that those berries help them keep awake or remove confusion. So they're not that's, bad that's berries. Go to Gyarados. If I come on your you will have increased power over fire. <laughs> and the trunk will have the ability to do critical hit ratios. So okay, so the other towns that have deli stores are Iano's, uh, the Ion, the city Iano is in, and the uh, water, water gym town. Well, I don't need any more items, so. Yeah. Now we take on the team leader because he said they were easy. Oh, I haven't fought, fought, fought the actual leader. I only fought the clavicle guy. Oh, well, we're about to see if they're easy. <laughs> I'm gonna guess no, since for that storyline, they are the final boss. Oh, they are? Well, I'm shit. Sure. Well, well, if you go in the building, you're fine. You just have to go to a specific place. This is actually a good time for you to check the classes. That no. you never check. I don't want to check the classes. You get stuff for the classes! I don't care. Well, I'm actually standing right on top of it, Dragon. It's probably because it's daytime. Actually, you're supposed to go in the building. There's actually a, uh, place. Okay, go go in the building. Okay. Why not tell me to check the damn classes? No. Okay, go- no. Well, go to the place where you would select a class. No, not that lady, not that lady. The thing next door. That thing, yeah. Go down. 
schoolyard. That's where it would be. Alright. We're about to see who the team boss is. Well, it's oh. daytime. Oh. Oh, oh god. <gasps> it is Penny! <laughs> Why did it turn night, though? Right. Aaron. Thanks for coming. Heh, this must be quite a shock for you. The big boss cannoli. They both they were both me all along. When I saw you make a quick work of those team star lackeys outside the school that time, the idea of Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit. And I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? Thanks. Sorry to keep you. The letter of apology Miss Time had me err. I mean, preparations took me longer than expected. That voice, are you Clive? Penny, so is it? It was you after, uh, no, I mean, is that you, Cannoli? In the flesh. I'll, I'll, I've had a task for you, Clive, if you will accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send a video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Uh, okay, will do. Alright, I'm about to whoop your ass, bitch. Now allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cannoli. No, Penny. Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. I love Penny. I swear, if she has really weak Pokemon. Oh, she is not. Oh, no. Well, maybe compared to your fucking starter, but... Actually, is her team full of Eevee? I think that would make sense. I won't hold back in this battle. I'll stay true to Team Star's code. Well... I think the ghost will work. On you. I think. Or at least I hope. Nope. And I can tell you're probably going to use a ghost type move, so... Shit. A dark type. I don't know what to use. I think if you use uh, flamethrower, you should be fine. Because okay. you are, like, really overleveled. Nope, then one shot. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, well, um... <laughs> Very tanky alligator. Look, you're over-leveled, okay? If, if this was, like, me, I that would probably, like, do a fox on a fan. Actually, is... I, I honestly don't know all... Oh, Vaporeon. Is it, is it all Eevees? If that is, this is gonna be easy. That's actually adorable. If that, it's if it's all Eevees, I actually love that. She is, she is like the best battler to exist. That is adorable. But it's also gonna be easy. Well, they don't easy isn't always a bad thing. And actually, oh shit! No hydro pump. Oh. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! And oh my God! Yeah. That, oh yeah, because that... Vaporeons aren't Vaporeons tanky. Oh, shit. oh, errors avoid the attack! Yeah, I'm pretty sure Vaporeons are tanky as shit. Oh wait, I forgot, Eris has Focus Slash, so... 
Oh, uh, that's only for one hit oh, KO moves. Man. Oh. Yeah. Same with the ability sturdy. If you hit it, like, if you had to have false swipe, actually that would be the, pretty much the same thing. But if, if you have, like, one move that does really, like, very little and then a one hit KO move, that's usually what people do to deal with, like, sturdy. Pokemon I'm gonna hope and prey on Lemon's speed stat. Yeah! Oh. Speed stat! <laughs> Fuck yeah! You ate the water dog. Why would you eat the water dog? It was 50 50 on the speed stat. Leafeon. It's all oh. Eevees. Oh Leafeon's God, gonna get immediately Eevees. fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Great Infernal's just gonna look at this. Oh. It's gonna be like that Scar and Mufasa moment <laughs> with this. Oh my God. It's all Eevees. It always has been all Eevees. Wait, does that mean she's a normal type? Or she would have been a normal type team star leader? But there's already a normal gym. Yeah, that didn't do much to, <laughs> to me at all. <laughs> you may have lowered my attack, but I still one shot killed you. Okay, Jolteon. Oh. I really the hope trunk. that her. I'm pretty sure her ace is gonna be a regular Eevee or maybe even a Sylveon. I really hope it's a shiny, because I think that would be cool if they gave one of the like the trainers a shiny Pokemon. Yeah, th this this battle's way easier than the previous one. <laughs> if this is the final boss of the game... It's not- oh, that is not the final boss. That's the final boss. For the, uh... The specific, like, uh, route you took. Uh... Mm -hmm. This is really pathetic. I'm just one-shotting them, most of them. <laughs> She's trying her best. You know how you use Hydro Pump? Well, so do I. Your baby dolls are not gonna help you. Wow. Oh shit, maybe it did. <laughs> Oh, never mind, I move first. <laughs> Sylveon. Oh, fuck. What's good against Sylveon? Well, what was it, Sylveon? Um, I. What's very weak against? Would it be poison? Maybe. I think it might be poison. I forgot. Do not send out fucking Lemon. Do not send out Lemon. Lemon is not strong against Fairy. <laughs> lemon doesn't have poison type moves. No, dragons are weak against Fairy. That's why I said do not send out Lemon. I know. I have one Pokemon left. I, I actually do think it's poison. Yep. Yep, it's poison. Well, time to die! It's Poison Steel, I remember now. It's Poison Steel. It's really fucked up how they chose Steel because of actual stories with what people did with fairies. Mm -hmm. Where they made them slaves inside steel cages. I think that's why they're weak against Steel. <laughs> yeah. Go big boy, big boy become bigger big boy. boy become crystal. Big boy become crystal. Big boy become crystal. Yippee. Womp. That's the only sound I can imagine them saying is just womp. Womp womp. Womp womp. <laughs> big chunky boy. Big boy. I love big boy. Okay. Sludge Wave did not do much. So let's try a Poison Jab. My VV power. Oh god, they're using Fairy. Oh, come on, Chunk. Oh, Chunk took it in like a champ. I think Poison Jab will kill. Oh shit. No, oh my god. And they got poisoned. Well, never mind, it's dead. Yeah, it's dead.
So yeah, the this boss was probably the easiest in all of Team Star. <laughs> and well, I've had you to are deal with it. like two of your Pokemon are like, or one of them is really over fucking leveled and overpowered now. <laughs> it's all over now. Now you got one more fucker to fight. It's finally over, guys. It's done. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Oh, oh, hold up. Are, are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well that... Well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and... Make a show of, of learning them some manners. But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed. Merely did we declare our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their tyrannous oppression. Twas a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, we didn't even send out their they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and, and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. But the bullies made a huge stink about what went down, and then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired epically. There's no way we're, we're getting off scot-free. Guess you're right. This little stunt might have put, put us up in the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you into all of this. So I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble and kind big boss. You cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh uh, yeah? And what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is thanks. Even though we never met in person, you are all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB. Why are you talking like we'll never speak again? I need to take care of some things. Prithi, speak to us. Why is thine intent? Hey, big boss, answer us. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks for everything. So did they seriously not notice she was outside their window? Nope. Damn. Thanks for everything, Aaron. And you too, Clive. I'm glad I could see this dude to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star. And me too. Hold that thought, Miss uh, Penny. I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? What? Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to to order people around. I could ask them all, all to do stuff, but I cannot never order them. So it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. Because the bosses would do anything the code required of them, even leave the team. Yes. 
According to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. That's the idea for Operation Starfall. Kanali, let me ask you one th last thing. What does Team Star know? What do your friends in the team mean to you? There. They're my greatest tre treasure. Splendid. Thank you for appraising me of this situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, I quit it, quit it with the old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed. Well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. Ha! D -d Director Cl Clavicle? <laughs> Just as Can uh, Canole was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. But, but why? I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to, to shy from their speaking their mind to teachers, after all. Much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about that wig. Huh? Ahem. <laughs> well, that's quite enough for that, of that for now. Everyone, why don't you come out on out? And everyone from Team Star is here. It is. Huh? Yo, Big Boss, long time no see. Also, also, Mama. Mela's walking normally. Yeah. We're like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found a real name just now. Melly. Barely was a long hidden continuance, a sight for my sore eyes, my lady. Atticus. Is Atticus female or male? So I've heard... Who knows? Oh, your name's Penny. How have you been this whole time? Forty. We found you at last. You've no idea how worried we've been. Harry. Okay, gang. On the count of three. One, two. Hala la vista, cannoli. And hello, Penny. Out in Miss Penny, and each of the young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. Come again? As Director of the Academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. What? Well, I still don't. I mean, why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first days as director, all I've ever experienced of the Academy is an environment blessed freely from bullying. But I now know that this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course, your immense courage in putting things to right. And so, I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order of Team Star disbanded and my threat to expel those who do not obey are hereby revoked. D does that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist should that be your wish. Woohoo! I mean, oh sorry. Woohoo! Penny, isn't that great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, my heart is giddy with glee. But, 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 I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Clavicle told us all about it. As far as we heard, we're, you only went through with it to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? 
It's not like we'd ever chuck the team just because someone told us to do. Too, after all. Ain't our style. Cannot even begin to imagine how you must have feared for us, yep, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. But, even so... Hold on, everyone. I have more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to Spain has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. Your protracted truancy, your Brazen customization of school uniforms, your unauthorized usage of academy equipment, your reckless modifications and jeopardous driving of Pokemon powered vehicles, need I go on? Your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot simply be, be overlooked. Thus, as punishment, you will all be required to engage in community service. Community, community service? Yes, specifically, I'll be asking you to manage the STCs. And that stands for... The Star Training Centers. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. I plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Miss Erin bowing her way through your bases. Bases construction as well as battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth as STC staff members, using your former bases as training facilities. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Um, no. Sounds like fun. So I don't see how this will be anything but a win-win. Yeah, this is a weird thing to say since STCs are supposed to be a punishment all. But you should totally join in too, Penny. Tis true. We'll be ha most happily have you at our sides, my lady. We can go to school together too. That way if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. We were already... Talking about how great it would be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. This would be a sweet deal for us. So what did you say? You guys. Aaron, what do you think? Huh, but, but, um, I just... Hmm. No need to give your response right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take some time to decide. For now, at least I think our little group should do their separate ways. Uh, not to say you should break up Team Star after all. I simply meant it. It is time to leave. Miss Aaron, please stop by my office later if you would. I think this is the first time that you have been in your dorm since, like, the start of the game. <laughs> also, I will say, that boss was very easy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really tanky Vaporeon, though. Yeah, but I had a very tanky Pokemon, too. <laughs> so it was more than fair. All right, let's see what Mr. Clavicle wants. Ah, here you are, Miss Aaron. Wanted to thank you for all your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect that I would not have done a team a grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincere gratitude. Who is it? Um, it's Penny. Ah, uh, Miss Penny, do come in. He Hello, Director. About the SCCs, I'd like to work on them 
together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But, um, I, I, I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not that. Because of the other really bad thing I did. And what would that be? Um, you know, the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall? Did she commit LP pod? I got Fraud. hold of it sort of illegally by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. Yep. Ah, uh, I see. That is quite the relevation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't that hard, I mean, er, I mean, I'm really sorry, I won't do it again. Hmm, this matter is, is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I'll have to consult Miss Gita, the Pokemon League chairwoman, on how best to proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Miss Aaron, but I will have to ask you to give us some privacy. Wait, so does that mean I have legal illegal money on me right now? Yep. Yep. Fuck yeah! I'm a criminal! You're Do not, not a criminal, Penny is. I thought you were about to make fun of me how I say criminal. Criminal? 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 I can't, I can't say some words correctly. That's how I actually say that word. That's one of the words I can't say correctly. Because doctors are bitches. Mm. Aaron Bright? There's something I want to talk to you about. Would you come and meet me in front of the school stairs? You know, where we first met? I'll be waiting. God damn it. I'm trying to do my last fight. But I guess, I guess this is not the end of Team Star thing. Oh, you mean the Pokemon League? No. I'm not gonna take that yet. I gotta talk to, uh... Argon. Ah. Wait, what? Oh, I passed her. Yeah, I, oh, I jumped Penny. over her. I jumped over Poor her. Penny. that's so mean. <laughs> That is so mean. Somehow I walked up behind her even though I stood in front of her. You're mean. You're a meanie. Hasta la vista. The six of us thought up the, the catchphrase back when we created a team. It's so cringy, it's perfect, you know? He, even Penny realizes it's cringy. <laughs> Pokemon characters can be self-aware, you know? Wait, then that means Nintendo knows what cringe is if they use the word cringy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, about the LP thing. I thought I was going down big time for hacking the league point system, but they're letting me off easy. What happened? Pokemon League said they'll waive my debt if I do them some volunteer engineering for them. They even asked me to come work for them after I graduate, if you can believe that. Doc Director Clavicle and that... Fuck, I forgot what name Agit gave her. I'm gonna say Gita. Gita, lady, kept complimenting me like a weird amount. Apparently I have outstanding talent or something. Sorry for calling you out here to meet the like this. I'm still not great with people face to face. Never seem to find the right words, but um... Thank you so much. You saved Team Star and my friends along with it. I know words won't ever be enough to properly thank you for all of you done, so here. Draco Meteor. Oh, that's good. Wait, can I give that to Garchomp? I think so. 
Yeah, but it also raises special attack stat. Or lowers it. I mean, not raises. Lowers. But yeah, it's a really good move, though. I'm sure you'll put this to good use. And one more thing. I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you ever feel, ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking and stuff. Oh. So next time, I'll be the one helping you, Aaron. Oh. Why are you going? Oh. Be seeing you then, Hasa la vista. The last thing the Pokemon professor said. The day before you go into that void area, the hole, mm -hmm. is that you'll be dealing with a lot of machines and you can bring as many people as you like to help you get past them. Which means I'll probably be asking Team Star's help. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. I'm the new leader of Team Star now, bitches. I don't think you are. Okay, let's see. I need to go... What Let me heal this? my Pokemon. I just realized I didn't even have to use a full restore the entire time I fought her. Yeah, you bought all those full restores and you didn't use a single fucking one. Yeah, I didn't even use one. <laughs> <laughs> I think what I have right now is good. Time to fight Penny! Now, will you get your ass kicked? Or will you be like me? <laughs> mm. I'm still kind of upset because I did lose an hour of progress on the egg hatching thing because my game crashed and I didn't load from a save. That's fair. Alright, now I gotta whoop, uh... <laughs> Argon's ass. And then... And then we'll pro we'll head over to the Legends area. Oh yeah, I looked it up. Those sword things that we've seen in the ground, the stakes. Mm -hmm. If you collect the exact amount, uh, a seal will open. Or we'll, we'll, we'll say there's a seal glowing or whatever. You go mm -hmm. over to it and you get a legendary. Oh, shit. So yeah, that's how you get some legendaries. You have to oh, find those Is seals. that how I got Spiritomb? Is that how I got Spiritomb? Because I did. I found Spiritomb. But it didn't say anything about seals opening. Then no. I don't think that's how that worked. Because when I, when I was looking at uh, legendaries or whatever, Spiritomb was not listed. Ah, uh, well, that's weird. How the fuck did I get Spiritomb then? Because it was... Actually, is it even a part of the uh, Pokedex? I'm pretty sure it is. That's weird. I don't think it's listed as a legendary, so you probably just got it as a regular encounter. Well, it must be a rare yeah. encounter then. Yeah. Spiritomb, Spiritomb. Not... Okay, I want by letters. Spiritomb. I already read all of this, so I'm not going to read it again. Plus, I'm pretty sure you don't want to hear our, our, <laughs> Argon's voice that I gave them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, no Spiritomb? It's weird. Oh, no, Spiritomb is a, a part of the Pokedex. I would think so. Its constant mis mischief and misdeeds resulted... And it being bound, bonded to an odd keystone by a mysterious spell. That's bullshit. They changed that. Bullshit. That's not what it said originally. Yeah. Oh yeah, all the Pokemon um, that Argon use that help you, you have to fight. Oh. Oh, he's not that strong. Oh yeah, no. Like, yeah, I'm pretty much gonna destroy his entire team, <laughs> especially Little with Granite Burno. Little wimpy man. Gargan Knuckle. Fuck. Was he? Which was he? I think I'll I think switch that's for a grass type. I think that's a grass type. 
Uh, I'm just gonna send out Brimblegast. I got Hyper Beam, so in case if it is Grass type, I'm just. Brimblegast will be fine. <laughs> No, oh, that is not. rock. Jesus Christ, that's a that's a fucking. Jesus. That Thanks looks for... like it belongs in Minecraft. Oh, they use stealth rock. Fuck you. Thanks for the food. Critical <laughs> hit. Yeah, I'm just whooping. <laughs> His ass now. Dream Eater? Uh, no, because I don't have hypnosis, so. Sco Villain. Oh, use N. So I don't know. I don't know what Sco Villain is. Oh, it's a two-headed dragon-looking thing. Mm-hmm. It guess it's typing. Grass. And? Dragon. Nope. Oh, I froze it. It is- it's- it's actually fire grass. Oh. That's cool. And they're still frozen. Get another hydro pump, bitch. Fuck, how the fuck did that bitch? Okay, whatever. Stop using psychic, you annoying bitch. God damn. It isn't even doing much. <laughs> Let me once learn to move sandstorm. No. How does this bitch keep dodging my fucking play roughs? Play roughs have like a high. Isn't it like 95%? Wait. Yeah, oh, it's 90%. Oh, that's the better evolution better. to Toad School. How? Oh, oh, that's cool. How did that bitch. Okay, whatever. God, my dog's dead now. Well, that's great. <laughs> How did it miss. Three times! It is 90% chance! What the fuck? It just does not like you. Yeah, I can tell. Oh shit. I used the wrong move. I hit A That's too cool. many- too fast. Oh, oh, that hurt. That did damage. Yeah, well now you're dead. <laughs> Cloyster. Uh, yes. Definitely switch you out. Even with Pokemon, like, a level- on a one level under- Penny's Pokemon. It's this is pretty easy. Like only one of my Pokemon died so far. I know. Like Penny was super easy. Switch. Should I do use Butternut or Hamlet? I'm gonna use Hamlet so I can use his revivability. I think Hamlet is an amazing name. I think it's one of the favorite names of my my party besides Cheez It. I'm kind of sad that the like the rivals and stuff don't name their Pokemon. Uh, yeah, that's fair. You would think they would, but they don't. And it's like, why? Oh, they turned to Dark type. Fuck you. 
I mean, that is a dark type Pokemon. Oh, it's still super effective. <laughs> Ouch, that hurt. Well, I'm, I'm honestly so glad that that boy is healthy enough to fight. I'm so happy. He lives! He fucking lives! I he refuse lives. to let you hurt me, so I Don't will terrestrialize and dig like I've never <laughs> digged before. Stop trying to kill the pupper! Well, this is a shark. A shark versus dog. Dog loses. You're a meanie. Aha! I have, they avoided the attack. Oh, fuck. They didn't kill it. Switch. Oh, fuck. Also, since when was Dark super effective against Garchomp? I have no idea. I'm, I'm, I'm taking it that that fight isn't going very well for you. Huh? Oh, no, I'm doing fine. This is their last Pokemon. I mean, yeah, but, uh, <laughs> almost half of your team is dead. More than God half, damn it. Oh, about half, yeah, half of your team is now dead. Grand Inferno's still alive. Good point. Also, Chonk lives. You know what? We're sending out the Chonk. The Chonk! Oh, the Chonk hook took it hung in there. Oh, come on! Oh, no. Well. I guess... Ran Inferno is gonna go and kill the dog. Imagine the dog outspeeds you, though. Highly doubt it. Okay, I want to heal Grand Inferno first. Imagine I... a one-hit kills Grand Inferno. I would actually fucking be amazed. I doubt it. I just one-hit killed Penny Sylveon. Yeah, like Jesus I said, Christ. I doubt it. I'm over half health, so... I'll survive. Up oh, and I go first. <laughs> And I win. How could you? How could you kill the dog? We were so close, Rebel Stiff. So close. But Aaron, thanks a little buddy. Don't you love that voice? No. Dang. This is the strength of someone who can take down those Titan Pokemon, huh? Yeah, much as I hate to admit it, I do think that we're gonna need some more support. Pokemon Area Zero are super strong, and there are all sorts of weird machines there too. I'd say we at least need two more people, somebody in some champion rank level skills, and somebody who can deal with crazy tech. Penny. Penny. That crazy smart hacker girl who was the big boss behind Team Star? I mean, yeah, she'd be perfect for the job. But when do you go make friends with some shady character like her? But, well, we're gonna... We gotta do what we gotta do. Whoever you think could help us, just try to get, get in, in good with them. We'll see if we can get a team together. Get in touch if we make progress. I'll do the same. Well, we already got Penny. That means you have to take on the Elite Four. Oh, I do? Mm-hmm. It's only about level 60, if I remember correctly, because I did look up, and they were like, yeah, I recommended level is 60. Well, all my Pokemon are pretty much up at that point, except for one. Except for one. Yeah. 
<laughs> just one is just 20 levels higher. Just, just, just a bit, little bit stronger, you know? Just a tiny itty bitty bit. Oh, I don't know that typing of the Elite Four, though. I think that's the main issue. I think one is grass. One's normal, one's grass. Uh, whatever the child is. I think you have to fight Nimona, which isn't surprising. I think it- I forget if it's before or whatever. If it's Nimona, it's gonna be easy. The thing is, the teams that she's been using are teams she wants to go easy on you because she knows you're a new trainer to, like, the region. I don't think she's- it, it might be easy because you're overleveled as fuck, but I don't know if she's <laughs> gonna make a purposely easy team. Yeah, compared to you and me, I'm probably gonna have a blast at the Pike 1 League while you're suffering. <laughs> one- one of the- I have a fighting type. One of the the, the fucking people is of normal type, so that's really fucking easy. Yeah, okay. I'll probably get- I can get up to 75 full restores. No, I don't need that many. I'm probably gonna get... 15 more full restores. Oh no, wait. Six... Oh wait, no, it's a... Uh, fuck. I would need at least... 11, I think it's what it is. Oh, you want to know an easy way to get to the Pokemon League? What? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll tell you when you get done with buying everything. Yeah. Get 64 restores. I don't need that many. Oh, well, that's gonna take all my LP. <laughs> take all that. And I am gonna get 30 of you. You know what? Now I'll get 60. Just in case. I don't think you need that many full heals. You never know, dragon. You never know. I, I feel like I know. Alright. I know I have to get to here. Oh, I can just, like, climb the wall and climb up to over here. Yeah, but there's an easier way. Okay, go go to the city. Go to- yeah, go to the city. Go to- yeah. Go there. There's actually a gate that leads up to the Pokemon League area. Uh, and it's- you head in the direction of the Pokemon League area, but in the city, and yeah. Okay, get on my right on. Jump down. See that, right there? See those Hello torches? There. See those the torches? Torches, go down! No, you're- oh no! You're over it! Okay, turn around. Down. There. Right there. I'm pretty sure I can easily take down the champion of uh, Pokemon League. Like, it's not gonna be hard for me. Guess what level those Pokemon are? 60s? No, no, no. Look at them. Lock onto them. Wow. Yeah, you could have you went you could have gone here the, uh, at the start of the game. That's sad. Actually, f turn around and fight the kid. I want to see what level he is. No. Okay, fight that trainer coming up. No. Fuck you. Oh look, it's the butt buddies. Well, one counter argument to that. 
Those, if you, they're after the level 25 and you just, like, let them do whatever the fuck, uh, they'll have children. Exactly. They're butt buddies. What? Oh, wait, did I heal my Pokemon? Ah, uh, hello, Ellen. So this is it. You've decided to face the Pokemon League. A final test you must pass to become a champion. It's held here in this building. I wish you the best of luck from the bottom of my heart, Aaron. I look forward to meeting you again soon. She's the champ the full champion, right? That the face. Yep. If I remember correctly, yeah. I also want to make sure I walk over here that way. I can just fly there. Okay, did you heal, heal your Pokemon, though? Oh, yeah, they're healed. You're ready to face the Pokemon League's champion assessment. Yes. Let's see. Aaron Bright from Yuva Academy, is it? It appears you have a total of eight gem badges. Very well. You may now proceed to the interview room. You gotta get interviewed. Oh yeah, yeah. A lady, a lady asks you questions. Uh, Rita asks you questions. Why? But she does, and she's cool, and I love her. Thank you for coming today. I love her. Please do have a seat. Yeah, I don't know what she asks you, but I do remember. That like it, there was a wiki page and like oh here's the answers to the questions Rita uh, Rika asks you and I just was like yeah I don't want the answer to those yeah I don't be sarcastic don't be an asshole be honest got it I Rika will be your interviewer let's get started with the first portion of the champion assessment hi Frost hello we yeah we begin with the interview first things first let me see how many gym badges you have. Excellent. You have all eight. Next, I would like to ask you a few questions, if you wouldn't mind, Aaron. Please think carefully, as you may automatically fail the interview, depending on your answers. Let's begin. How did you get here today? I wrote on my Pokemon? I mean, that's not wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, very good. Please tell me the name of the school you are enrolled in. Ah, uh, that's right. So what brings you to Pokemon League today? Become a champion. Yes, indeed. Why else would you be here, I suppose? Now, what do you intend to do if and when you become a champion? To become even stronger. I see. Interesting. Tell me, which of the eight gems gave you the most difficulty? Fuck. Ah. Uh, I think the Glaciado gem? Yeah, I think that's the ghost one. Oh, I, I was thinking about the ice one. Because oh. I got my ass kicked. Which one was that? I don't know. I'm gonna say that one. Fuck it. I see. What's the name of the gem leader you face there? Oh, fuck. Oh. So oh, I think it's a little... Is it? I see. That concludes this interview. One of the staff will let you know the results. Thank you again for your time. I think you uh, failed. Now, please excuse me. I think you me. failed. I'm sorry. I don't remember the gem. How did that happen? Oh, you oh, failed! Oh, you fucking oh, oh, oh you failed! Oh, oh, Frost, oh, what the fuck? Frost, you good? Okay, Jack, remember those coordinates I sent you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that leads into the ancient city, right? That's where the Elytra mm -hmm. stuff also is. I put for you, mm -hmm. and um, so I have a little water stream that leads straight into like, like a corner of it, and I just only happen to see now that right next to the water is a shrieker. 
and I almost fell right on top of it. Oh. Okay, so... I'm just Wait. gonna play this wall. Okay, so that's the ghost. So and right next to it. Casadeo is is the crucial one, okay. Uh -huh. So now I know all the correct answers. So I'm just not reader again. I don't have this speaker reliance again. It's all gonna be the same fucking thing. Except this time you won't fail like a dumbass. Well, I didn't- I don't memorize where the fucking gym leaders are. Masadeo oh. was Grusha. Yep. I'm glad. I'm glad he seemed to remember. No, that's not our voice. I gave a fuck. But do you remember which type of Pokemon Grusha used? Oh, for fuck's sake! It's ice. Oh, thank God! I don't have to actually choose which Pokemon. Wonderful. Building the skills needed for the champion assessment is no small feat. You must have met a lot of Pokemon to get here, Aaron. I kill a lot of them. Murder. What was, what was the category of, of the Pokemon you chose to be your first Pokemon? Fire Croc. Yeah. Very good, very good. Now please forgive me, but I'm going to repeat a previous question. Oh no. Remind me, what do you intend to do if and when you become a champion? Come even stronger. Ah yes, that's right. Next is the final question for, for this interview. Do you like Pokemon Aaron Bright? I could just no. be an asshole and say no. And no, you'll fail if you put no. <laughs> yes. Depends which which generation are we talking? Uh nine. <laughs> I don't think I've played that one yet. Which yeah. one is that? What? The, the newest one. The one yeah. currently being played. Like, yeah. Which one is that? Arceus? No, no, that was part of Gen 8. Oh. Yeah. The anyway. only Pokemon game I played is either Roblox ones or Sword and Sword. I could touch one. Uh, anyway. Alright. Good job, kiddo. Come on. That, that about I... wraps up. Oh. That about wraps up the interview. And let me be the first to congratulate you. Aaron Bright. You just passed the first part of the champion assessment. Honestly, I don't know why you bulged, uh, bunged, bungled it before. But anyway, time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. Next segment is what we call the Elite Test. And you'll be facing Elite Four in Pokemon Battles. I guess that's pretty obvious from the name of the test, huh? Anyway, the best the league has to offer, you'll be facing us four in a row, no turning back. This won't be a cakewalk, I promise you that. Make sure you're all ready, then go into the room behind me. 
fuck, I don't know which one's first. But, I mean... <laughs> Grand Inferno's first. So, I think it'll be fine. Imagine it's the normal type guy. Well, even then, Grand Inferno's not gonna really get hurt. Fair point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like... What? Piping? Is that ice? If this is ice... <laughs> It, it might be water. Oh, please don't. Uh, wait, it's it's her. Oh. God, I love her. I don't know what typing she is. Yeah. Oh, she might be f flying. She might be flying, actually. Looking at it, that's a, that, she could be a flying type yeah. trainer. Now then, let's get this started, eh? Let good old Rika be the first of the Leaf Four to take you on. I'd say I'll go easy on you, but I'd be lying. Think fast. Oh, she's definitely a flying type trainer. God, those gloves are cool. Here you go. Well, let's see. That is not a flying type. That is <laughs> water. She's water. <laughs> You're so fucked. <laughs> yeah, was that that big fish from Splatoon 1? No. That is a catfish. They look the exact same. Because the great zapfish is a catfish. Okay, but the zapfish um, is cool. Did you just right. like just, look how much damage you... they did? Look how much I did. You are level eighty. That is why. That is... <laughs> you are over prepared. Oh, so is that a Floridian? Yes. That is what uh, that is what everyone from Florida looks like, Frost. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Dawn fan. Wait, that's oh, okay. So, what? she is she a mud? Uh, not a mud type. Uh, ground. Ground. Type. Yeah. Ground. Well, I know how to use for ground though. I was not expecting that. That's actually pretty cool. I was not expecting that. Go in. <laughs> What's good against ground? I don't know if I have any. Water. Oh, rock. I think rock Fair is. Point. I believe he has. Yeah, rock. I think grass is also pretty good against ground. I just... Yeah, ground is also yo. Know, also water. It does not matter. I don't have a good matter. water type on my team. I should. I should probably get a water type. Two Pokemon defeated. But I have a ground type that usually takes uh, take care takes care of uh. Doug Trio. Isn't that ground again? Yep, I'm pretty sure she's ground type trainer. I thought she was gonna be flying because I mean, look at her. That is that is a bitch that uses flying type, but no, she uses ground. Instead I of using dig and flying. being smart, they use sandstorm. She's setting up. You're gonna be fucked by the next Pokemon, I'm sure of it. Like she <laughs> is setting up for something. Well, I mean, that's three Pokemon down. <laughs> and not on this side, I don't think this is going well. Camel Oh, that's even double times of water damage. Oh, God. <laughs> what are some water types? Because I think they're all of this. That's four. That's four. <laughs> right, what are some good water types? Claude Sire. Oh, shit. Claude Sire has got that water ability. Uh, a good water type, you said? Mm -hmm. Uh, Gyarados. Uh, if, if you want the Psychiastic answer, Kyogre, but... I don't think I can get Kyogre in this game. Yeah, big bad. Alright. I could use Dreadnought. Ice Cube water? Ice Cube's ice. No, not Ice Cube. What about, um... I think it's Water Poison, that's what it is. Oh, I could use, uh, Don Dozo. Cause that's like, a, a new water type, and it's big boy, big boy, big tanky boy. Or a Sligu, I could use Sligu. Well, why are evolved. the flowers on that man's head? It's Mega Evolved. That is not a Mega Evolution. It is now. <laughs> no, it is not. Well, they actually have some flowers on their hand call it, yeah, because I'm like... Everything's gotta have a game game. Mm. 
Oh wow, they just Bro, made just them take weak. a hammer to. Bro, just take a hammer to, and they just fall apart. Oh fuck you! You just protect you sack of shit. I hate that. I need like a uh, water. Oh, I do have the. I, hmm, belly bolt electric. Oh, fuck you. Now you're poisoning me along with Sandstorm. I want to do seed bomb instead of heal. God damn it! Stop using protect. Oh, it wants sand to be protected. Sandstorm's gone. <laughs> yeah, fuck you! I gotta die. And I win. That was easy. <laughs> she doesn't look amused at all. Not bad, kiddo. I mean, I wouldn't be happy either if the one Gerda's wife almost more than half wife more than half my team. <laughs> Talk about unfair. No, no way was I ever gonna win that one. Still, though, what a great battle. Felt good even to lose. Not a whole lot of trainers have that have the skill to make it past the elite test. But who knows? I'm getting to think you might be one of the few that do, Aaron. Better stay on your toes, though. The second Elite Four are stronger than me. Yep. Next, Squirt. Come on out. Well, I got two cats. Coming! Oh. Oh, I, I, I... <laughs> oh, wow. Yo, is that paper? It's the right height. No. Oh, wow. Did you lose, Rika? Yeah, I did. She's no pushover. Let me tell you. I'll be watching from... Oh, wait. That's not her. I'll be watching from the side. Avenge me if you can, eh? Can I not heal? You bet I will. Oh, I can. Okay. I was about to say. So how many of those ethers are got? I have 16 ethers. I didn't realize how many of those I had. Okay, so I have a bunch of these, so I'll, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get... Oh, I have antidotes. I'll use those instead of the full heals. Save right here. All right, ready to face Poppy Lee Four? Yes. I'm gonna whoop Anyone your ass. Dead? Anyone dead? No. No. Oh my yeah. my little baby. It's oh. so cool that you made it this far, but oh, is this where oh. you say bye bye, Miss? All my Pokemon are super tough. Your weak attacks won't work on them at all. They'll bounce what? right off. You'll see. Why'd you make her sound like that? <laughs> As you did too. I can't I wait for you to meet my friends. So here they come. This is hurting my voice. I don't want to meet her friends. 
Fuck, that hurt my voice. I feel like I'm just looking at paper. It's the exact same map. Copper jaw. Oh, Versus... she's a steel type. Oh, she's a steel type? This is bad. <laughs> Fire is good against steel. I know, and it's bad for her. Oh. <laughs> One shot. <laughs> One shot. Why are you beating up an actual toddler? Yeah, Bronze Log, you're definitely too. a steel type. Oh, Poor baby. God. Why are you beating up the baby? Stop beating up the baby. Leave beat the baby up, alone. I beat the toddler too. <laughs> One shot again. Rust, what do you mean you beat up a toddler? You don't have I, Pokemon Scarlet. Or I like... said I would if I could. Poor I Big Knight. Oh, God. Yeah, it's definitely steel. Oh, oh no. <laughs> this poor child. Because I'm pretty sure the next one is normal. Magnezone, so no, it's back to steel. Or my knight was steel. Oh, they hang on to sturdy. That's not gonna save them. No, stop, no, stop battle with your fat. And they're dead. <laughs> I'm just bullying the child at this point. Good. Tinkaton. So I'll keep my current Pokemon. Oh, I have a Tinkaton. Uh, ton. It's really fucking good. It also canonically hunts down Corviknight. That's why Corviknight aren't used for fast travel. That's why the little annoying parrot birds are. This is gonna end very quickly. It's not only do I have the charcoal that makes my fire attack stronger, but I'm not gonna make my fire attacks even more stronger. <laughs> it's gonna be an immediate one shot. I wonder if I'm gonna recharge your Terra Orb before you. I mean, I already used it the last one, so yeah, they did. Oh. Yeah. Oh, she's adorable! Oh, why are you hurting the baby? And she's gonna Good, get her continue, ass kicked. No! Continue hurting this child. She's adorable. Hey, what if I were to take a skull catalyst? <laughs> One shot. <laughs> oh, this was the easiest one. Okay, so the first one is ground, which means I should get out. Oh, oh look how sad the toddler is. <laughs> oh, I wanted to take revenge on you, Rika. Hey, I think you skipped the wham wham part. I'm not doing that. <laughs> pretty sure, pretty sure you meant to take revenge for me, Squirt. Don't think I did anything wrong by you. Hate to say it, but you lost, Poppy. Better call the next guy. Oh, that's right. I haven't had to do this in a long time. It's your turn, Mr. Larry. Wait, Larry? Yeah. Who's the Larry? The normal type gym leader. Why is he in Elite Four? <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, bro has been grinding. Hello there. It's me, Larry. Hey, the poor man just wants to get a normal way to get. Okay, so I'm gonna change position with Garchomp. Because Garchomp knows Brick Break. Okay, actually, Dragon. Do you think I should give Garchomp close combat? In replace for yeah, Brick Break. I think that'd be good. Also, remember that you can go uh, select your Pokemon and re hit Remember Move. 
Oh, uh, yeah, I can't do that. Oh, Garchomp can't. They took away Garchomp's ability for learning close combat. That sucks. But I'm pretty sure he can learn Draco Meteor. Yeah, he can. <laughs> I think I'll get rid of Dig for now. In place of Draco Meteor. <laughs> I don't think any of the gyms were that difficult for me. I think the one that caused the most issues was Ayano, surprisingly. I, really? Ayano? Really? I think. I think she killed, like, half of my teams. Wow. Wow. That was the hardest one, though. Like, and that's... That was the hardest one. Yeah. I think I was underleveled. I think that was why. Then again, I did take it on with Grand Inferno being near level 60. Wow. Alright. But maybe it wasn't Ayano. I don't think I had trouble with any of them. Yeah. They were pretty easy. So you made it this far. I serve as a member of the Elite Four too. Yes, unfortunately for me. At my gym, I use normal type Pokemon since I feel they have a lot in common with me. But well, the boss told me to use a different type here. Uh oh. So if you have any complaints, please take them off with La Parmesan. I mean, pa Pangea, not Parmesan. Uh, this is not I the like normal Parmesan. type. Is it not? No. Oh no. He said he used a different type anyway. Time to get to work. Oh, maybe he's flying. Maybe he's the flying guy. Well, he we're about to flying. find out. Tropius. He's, he's flying. He's flying. That's a flying grass type. Oh yeah, his tie has a... Uh... Yeah, he, his tie has clouds. That's adorable. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use Draco Meteor. Oh, damn! Hey. My answer? Okay. Oh, they're gonna do that and try and use Solar Beam. But they're only gonna survive one more hit. No! How did they get to go first? Bullshit! Oh, they they did not do much. How? They mean how? Fine, use brick break. I'm gonna assume my pizza's done, so I'll be back. Okay. Thing is, Garchomp can also take down the flying types because he has he knows Thunder Thunderfang. Mm -hmm. Which would be useful. Lemon arm. I forgot Garchomp does more physical attacks. God damn, you're just spamming Solar Beam. But I think I'm gonna switch him out for Gar Nah. Gyarados is lower level, so I'll keep him out. I'll tri- Yeah. Yeah. Altarius. <laughs> Definitely heal up. Because they're going to try and use Dragon Dance a lot. I know this game enough to know they're going to do that. Oh, never mind. They're just going to one-shot kill Lemon. Oh. And Lemon's dead. Hmm. I guess I'll send out Eris. 
dragon, do you think Ice Punch would do more damage or Moon Blast? Uh, I think Moon Blast. And they use Moon Blast, okay. Oh wow, that did not do much. They're sending, they're, they're playing <laughs> volleyball. <laughs> that was one shot. Star Raptor. I know this one, uh, Aeris knows Thunderbolt, so they'll be fine. Fuck, Brave Bird. I hate Brave Bird. I mean, it hurts them. But not in a way we, we want it to do. I guess Nishiko. Uh, Kigoi. Well, I have to hopefully have a faster speed stat, but I doubt it. Oh, God. Oh, yes! Fuck you. <laughs> Ori Koro, so I'll just keep him out. Is it the red one? It's the yellow one. Yippee! And it's gonna die. Oh, never mind. I might have some trouble with this gem. You know what? I'm gonna send out Grand Inferno. <laughs> I think Grand Inferno will be fine. I'm not that surprised that he's a, a flying type elite four member. And one he shot. Has, <laughs> he has even in his gem, he, ha he used a. Is Star Raptor just a regular flying type or a flying normal? I forget. Flamingo. Flamigo. I'm sure I'm before, I guess I, I don't get a break today. I want to keep Grand Inferno out just because I'm probably going to do a shit ton of damage with Flamethrower. I'm just messing up my suit a bit this time. It's time to get some wind back on my tracks. And they're gonna use wind, but like, I I, I think I think Grand Inferno will be fine. They'll be yeah. fine. <laughs> like I think this is like two times the amount of damage Flamethrower will do. Yep, that's one shot. <laughs> Immediate one shot. I've just been one shot. Oh, that that that's two shot. Uh, yeah, uh, Flapple is very very good. Oh God, poison. Oh, thank fuck. Well, that took the wind from under our wings. Why you make him sad, huh? You're a lot stronger than I recall. No wonder... No wonder La Pangea likes you. Now then, I suppose the final member of the Leaf Four is next. It's your turn, Hassel. Hassel? Now where could he be? Uh, I don't... Don't think he heard you, Larry. Come on in, Hassel. Larry, you you may need to speak up just a little bit more. Hassel? Hassel! You're up next! Oh, this bitch. Yeah, old man. Is he a bug he type user? Oh, dark he type. He might be bug type, actually. Thinking of it, that would make sense. Then I'll just keep Grand Inferno out just in case. 
So wait, I don't think- No, wait, the bug gym. We already had a bug. Uh, what ones have we what not went against in the gyms? Uh, fuck, I don't know. I still have a feeling he might be a bug type user. He might. Yeah. Or maybe grass? But we know we already fought a grass gym. I have no idea. I don't think the gyms are connected to the league. So I fought, I fought leagues where they had bug type users and there was a bug type gym. Fair point. <laughs> Hello there, Aaron. It delights me to see you here. As for you, Larry, I see you made Rika do the shouting again, hmm? Huh? Alright. Let's, uh, heal up my Pokemon. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I have 95 revives. Oddsire, uh... Does anyone have any, like, super effective moves? Oh, yeah! Nile has super effective moves. Oh, switching in for Nile. Grand Inferno. Yeah, I, I think Grand Inferno will be fine. Uh, I, I think, like, out of most of my team, the Pokemon that will be fine will be Lemon and Grand Inferno. <laughs> mm hmm because Lemon's a pseudo-legendary that can kick ass. And Lemon's just an A1. <laughs> They'll be fine. Yep. I was, of course, absolutely certain you would make it to me eventually. Young Sprouts truly do grow with astounding speed. Okay, he's either grass or bug. Yeah, I think he might be grass. But I never for a moment imagined we would be facing each other so soon. Now, teacher's duty is to guide students and aid their growth. But I think I shall forget my role as a teacher for a moment. And will it all my might for the sole purpose of defeating you. I am Hassel, the dragon guarding the final fortress of the elite test. Oh, he's dragon type. Or not. We're not sure, because he, he also said sprout. So that can either be grass or he can be dragon. We don't know what he has. Good point. Yeah, prepare the learn firsthand how the fiery breath of a ferocious battle feels. Let's see what his first Pokemon is. If it's Dragon, oh that's Noivern. He's a Dragon type. Oh, that's cool. Show me everything you've got. I shall face you with my full strength. I'm gonna try Shadow Ball. Yeah, it's not gonna do much. Oh, I am so glad I have a good fairy. I have two fairy types actually on my team. I'm oh, wow. <laughs> I'm gonna two shut the Noivern. Yeah, that's not fun doing fact, much. You can, uh, you can go re battle the gems after you beat the Elite Four, if I remember correctly. Oh. Did it get higher level Pokemon? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Like a full team of six. Okay, I don't know much, but I'm gonna guess that they have a full team of six and are higher level. Alright. I knew Fairy is, like, definitely a super weakness to Dragon. <laughs> so. Oh, Poppy is so adorable. I love her. She's so small. I don't want to fight her. She's a cutie. She's a little baby. I don't want to fight the little baby. Why? Oh, I oh, feel wow. bad. Okay, maybe not. Like, okay, for not for this guy, so. For a Thunderbolt, since Eris can go first. Right, why do I have to fight the baby? I don't want to fight the baby. The baby is cute. A little adorable baby. I don't want to fight the adorable baby. Oh, <laughs> Eris hung in there like a champ. Oh, fuck. Hell yeah. They're poisoned. Eris is dead. Yep. Hold on. Well, Grand Inferno, you're up. <laughs> uh... 
Oh, that's a poison dragon, if I remember correctly. Or maybe, yeah, or maybe water dragon. I think it's poison dragon. And one shot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fight Poppy. She's adorable. Haxorus. Oh okay, so I definitely know Haxorus is weakness. So we're going to send N out. N out. I like how my immediate reaction is like, oh, Pokemon just fainted? Send Gren out in Inferno. <laughs> oh my gosh, that Haxorus is tiny! That's a tiny Haxorus! Small. Why you make fun of small man? Hmm? It did not do as much damage as I thought it would. Yeah. We're gonna be low on health, but uh N's gonna survive. And bye bye. <laughs> Only lost one Pokemon so far. Flapple. Oh that's the one I have, yeah, that's a grass dragon. Oh, grass dragon. Grass you say. Dragon. So, if N dies, I know who I'm sending out! Yeah. Sea bomb That's weird, it didn't say super effective. Wait, fired is not super effective? Weird. That's weird. Well, I did get burned, so that's good. I'm gonna attempt fate. I'm gonna attempt fate. Attempt fate. Okay, good. And one hit. Brave Bird is so fucking annoying. Bax Caliber. That's a new dragon. Oh yeah, that's a, that's an ice dragon. I'm pretty sure it's a pseudo legendary. I caught uh, the pre evolution for it. It's cute. Sadly, the shiny sucks ass. Uh. But yeah, this is the. I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure since it's just a pseudo legendary and not an actual legendary, this is the first ice dragon that isn't a, le a legendary. Oh, no. And like. Yeah, that's cool. They made it a dragon type, so now my ice fang is gonna do a lot of damage. Much damage. Jesus Christ. Okay, it's pretty strong. <laughs> Come on, and hit them. Letting this drag on. Oh my God, the pun. Oh my God. Over here. Overheat do. Uh... You know what? When in doubt, send out Grand Inferno. Big boy, send out the big boy. Uh... Oh, it's the full radiant. Plus, he also has a surprisingly high speed stat. Either that or I'd kill a lot of Pokemon with speed EVs, as, as well as HP EVs. Probably. Yeah. Without even realizing it. Oh my gosh, I almost one-shot at him! Oh my oh, god! Man. Oh, 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 and Grano Frano lives! He took it like a champ! 
And... Four Elite Four members taken down. I'm already, I'm already, I've already defeated two. Mighty Dragon has been f failed. I don't That's... think anyone Pokemon died. But that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. But then again, I had Grand Inferno. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually, okay, so my Pokemon are like this, uh, only like five levels above the Elite Four so far. And yeah. it's it's really easy even for me. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, they made I it heard. easier. Yeah, I, I no, but their that. teams are like really their their teams are pretty good. I think it's just our I think if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure uh, Fuko uh, Fukoko is like the best starter this generation. Yeah. Anyway, you, you really did it. Oh wow. Oh, why does the child sound like huh? that? W wonderful Is that a type oh, Is that a typo? Crying. I'm I'm Maybe. I'm just so proud of you. <laughs> oh it's not, it's not. He's just sobbing his eyes out. Oh don't cry, Grandpa Hazel. There, there. What a hug. That's why Poppy that's why Poppy's in the Elite Four, because <clears> they were <throat> grandpa. Jesus, my throat. Sorry about all this, Aaron. No old man can get like that sometimes. So what did I I'm do? I'm just just so overwhelmed. Oh, it wasn't a, t a typo. Yeah. I guess I've got to do the talking. Anyway, your result for the league test of the champion assessment is... A pass. No doubt about it. God, I love her. Can I have her hand in marriage? No. Yeah, you. you're tougher than steel. Oh my god. Why does this <laughs> child sound like that? Because <laughs> it's funny. Yep. Well, if some child ran up to me and started speaking like that, I'd be running. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this child's face. <laughs> oh, she's, she's like, Grandpa, you're embarrassing me, Grandpa. <laughs> you, you, you did. You, you did fully. Congratulations. I'd say you're good to go, but there's actually just a wee bit more to the champion assessment. This will be your final trial. See the door back there? Our fearless commander, the final opponent you'll face for your test is waiting beyond it. Her skills are so amazing she was able to strong arm all of us into the joining the Elite Four. You won't f f find a mightier champion. Though... I think you'll do fine, kiddo. You beat me, after all. Pneumonia's gonna be behind that door, isn't she? I don't know. I'll patch up your team on the house, so don't lose, you hear? Oh, that's actually really nice. I really love I... your Pokemon, miss. So I'll cheer for you as hard as I can. Well, a uh, good luck. Even a baby dragon can breathe fire. <laughs> well, guess you got over your sobs, huh? You can do this. We all know you can. Is Grandpa okay? Can someone, like, put Grandpa to bed? I don't think he's okay. <laughs> now go, young Aaron. Your hands may be small, but th let them seize a great victory. I, I just love the voice I gave the child. Okay, so everyone is in order. Fuck, oh, that didn't one hit. Oh, fuck, that didn't one hit. Fuck, God damn it! Well, there goes Hamlet. I should have healed Hamlet. Wait, no. Damn it. I'm sorry, little buddy. I forgot. I need to save. That way, if I do lose, I can just hit home button and cance cancel it out. Let's start over. <laughs> I'm a cheating bitch. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I swear if it's pneumonia. No, it's her. The chairwoman. But 
which is bad because I don't know her Pokemon. Welcome, Aaron. Is she a water type? I don't think she's a water type. It gives me she great joy. She might be joy. a dark type. Yeah, fair. That it gives me a great joy that you managed it to make it all the way to the pinnacle of the Pokemon League. Final test is a battle against me, the top champion. To pass, all you need to do is win. But before we get started, I should apologize for one thing. I s you see, I have a trait that some might say is inappropriate for League Chairwoman. I'm utterly incapable of holding back when it comes to Pokemon battles. Maybe that's why nobody's passed this task recently. This is a bit of a problem, to be honest. But you, you might manage something wonderful, like Champion Pneumonia did. So, are you ready for your final test? I want to see a true measure of your talent. Well, let's find out. Espartha. Psychic. Oh, she's psychic. Oh, that makes sense. I do hope you can defeat me and become a champion yourself. Wait, I think... I think Grand Inferno has a... Yup, yup. Grand Inferno is stronger against Psychic. <laughs> this is gonna be easy. This is gonna be easy. <laughs> yeah, so that's the correct decision in this situation. Please continue. <laughs> this is gonna be easy. Imagine it turns out to be really fucking. Avalok! <laughs> oh, wait, it's not just. So it's. She has. A... Oh, she's a multi variety of team. But she sent two Pokemon that are weak to my Pokemon in front of me! <laughs> King. Uh, King Gambit? What Pokemon is that? I don't want to. I don't want to say keep battling. Oh, it's it's a Steel type. You're good. Okay. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah, this guy. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Are you still alive with the crocodile? <laughs> <laughs> Instant death. Imagine being like the most powerful like leader. Wait, Falusa. Oh uh, fuck, Falusa, Falusa. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Bramble Gast. I know Falusa. Falusa's that fish bitch. Yup. Yeah, fuck you. You ain't gonna keep one shot on my team like you always do. Fuck you. Go goat? What the fuck's a go goat? Oh, it's a grass type. Oh, well then. Grand Inferno? Also, it's been since X and Y. Have you seriously never seen a go goat? I, it's been a while since I played X and Y. It was the, uh, I think it was the grass gym's ace. Well, this is gonna be easy. Oh, that <laughs> Since Smash too. She's on her second to last Pokemon. <laughs> well, imagine being like the most powerful like gym person or whatever. Right, you have a level eighty crocodile. Flamora. Eighty one crocodile. Flamora? I have no idea what the fuck that is. Well, we'll keep battling. Let's see. What the fuck is that? What is that? Well, it's gonna die by fire. <laughs> Why does it look like her? Oddly enough. She's gonna die by flamethrower. <laughs> I have not lost a single Pokemon. This is sad.
Okay. Speaking is it though? Oh, that's fighting. Wait, that's a bank. I think that's ground. Oh, maybe. Or it's no, it might be rock. I think it might be rock. Rock. Wow, that did half damage. That's ground. Oh god, ow. Doesn't matter, I'm still gonna use flamethrower because it's 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 gonna one shot right now. Oh my gosh, they are at one health. Grand Inferno, please. Oh shit. Well, Grand Inferno got fucked. Well then. Well the thing is, I only need oh, to hit God, once. I only need they only at one health. They're at one health. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna throw good. in a Pokemon that's ground type, so they're not weak to ground. <laughs> <sighs> Liquidation! Kill. Super effective. The fuck are so many it, it threw out Toxic to Briss as it died. What is that thing, though? I don't know. I don't know, but it's vibing. Well, it was. Now it's dead. Yeah. Yeah. I only yeah. lost one Pokemon. And that's... Yeah, and it was your strongest one. Which is actually really sad for the champion, because usually you you lose a lot. Such overwhelming power, such amazing skill. It seems Parmesan has gained another wonderful trainer to be proud of. Congratulations, it's my honor to call you Champion Aaron. Congratulations, is it is right. Now I can really say you're good to go. Yay! You did it, miss! Stop giving the child a terrifying voice. <laughs> Congratulations. This is just amazing. I can't... I can't... It anymore. Oof. Crying again? Your Pokemon trainer... You Pokemon trainers are the treasure of Parmesan. And amid the treasure, champions are the jewels that shine brightest. Champion Aaron Bright. It is now your duty to set an example for all of the trainers of Parmesan. Now allow me Parmesan? to walk you Now let me walk you back to the entrance. I'm certain you'll find a familiar face waiting you. Oh no. You better not start the fight, because I, I have one Pokemon fainted. Or, at, or if you do, at least heal my Pokemon. Aaron! Uh, Aaron. Aaron. Hatch is not here, so I, I can't have the... I don't do know how Russian. to do Russian. Dude. Oh, man. I can't tell you... Tell just looking at you. You did it, right? You became a champion. I can say, say no. no. Say no, say no, say no. <laughs> ha, you've got jokes. But seriously, you did become a champion, right? Say no. <laughs> Come on, it's me. You don't <laughs> have to lie. Just tell me you become a champion, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. You did become a champion? No, oh, didn't you? And no. no. <laughs> you it's champion? So yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. You champion? Yes. Okay, she keeps repeating it. It will not let you <laughs> say no. I knew all along. <laughs> Someone please clip that. I beg, I <laughs> beg. No, no. Oh fuck, cheese it, no. I got a, a, a word from La Pangea when you cleared the elite test. Oh man, Aaron, I'm a champion. And now you're a champion. Which means we're true equals, you and me, both champion ranked trainers. This is amazing. Now you are, you've made it here, I've got one thing to say. Let's you and me to be the best rivals for life. 
that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that. Yes. Why not? Oh, my God. Explain. <laughs> All right. You know what rivals do? Battle absolute hearts out. I won't hit you with everything this time. You ready? Do wait a moment, champion pneumonia. Huh? What's the matter, uh, Pangea? The champion assessment has only just ended. I believe a rest is in order for the champion. Aaron Bright, Skelly Dirge, and the others. Champions must un be understanding towards their opponents. Uh, r right. Then I go getting overexcited again. Sorry, Aaron and S Skelly Dirge. I must also ask, is this roadside really the, set the setting you two want for your first battle? Is true equals and rivals hmm now that you mention it that's a good point in that case can we use one of the pokemon league battle courts surely there's somewhere more fitting a place with special meaning for the two of you perhaps what the Spe fuck? special meaning huh hmm let me see anywhere leap to mine aaron out behind your house treasure eatery i want to say out behind your house so that sounds really I mean, that weird. was where the first battle was haha <laughs> our beach out back huh yeah that place is where we had our first battle might work but on the other hand to me it's just kind of my backyard you know a little ordinary any place else come oh to mind God. do the eatery do the eatery please no that's goes oh good call a place where we set out on our journey. Reminds me, Aaron. Remember back when Director Clavel explained the treasure hunt? You know how he told us to go and search for our own treasure? Well, I know what treasure I got out of this. I found a true rival. Someone who can stand up to me at full capabilities. That's right. I mean you. I'm so glad I got to meet you, Aaron. Anyway, that being said... Been waiting for you at the battle court at Mesago Central Plaza. See you there. It's probably gonna, it's probably gonna say don't not that one too, Dragon. If I did the eating thing. Airplant. The respect the, the respect you two share is palpable, even a bit enviable to be honest. I am known as La Pangea. But even when facing being the final test of her champion assessment, champion pneumonia didn't reveal her full might. In you, I suspect she found someone she can battle without holding back. Yeah, my starter just literally beat the living shit out of her team. Like the champion's team. Like a true champion. Like the literal shit. Out of the team. Mm -hmm. What was the first start? Uh, the first like what Pokemon started the fight? Uh, it was a psychic one. Yeah, never mind. I remember. Yeah. Which means now I gotta fight pneumonia. Then I can I can grab both pneumonia and Penny, and we can go into the dark. Abyss. Actually, fun fact, you can, you can, okay. Uh, you know what, before you fly to fight, uh, Nimona, close it out. Close it or not? Close, close, close. Why? Close the map. Go on to Maridon. Why? Climb up that wall. The rock wall. Why? Climb it. Well, what? You can see into the pit. You can see into the pit before you have to go in it. It looks really cool. The pit? The pit. I want to go into the pit. Pit, yeah. No, you can't. Oh. No, you can see into it. No, I... Jump. It's just Jump. fog. Okay, uh, if you go around a certain location, you can actually see a lab area. Do a flip. In the pit, you can see. Do a flip. 
Wait, no, I could have accidentally fell into the pit and I had to fly out or climb out. Did they patch that? Probably. Fuck. Yeah, what it means I fell fly. into the pit and then I got scared because I didn't I didn't know if it would break the game or some shit. So I like climbed out as quickly as I could. Okay. Well, they definitely okay. patch. I guess they started doing patches. Or maybe it was because I know there's certain parts of the, the thing that are glitched, so maybe they. Maybe that was it. Alright, I'm about to whoop your ass. I want I want to marry Rika. Why can't I marry Rika? Any second now. Uh -uh. Oh, she's there you are, Aaron. Ready for the battle between champions. Yeah, so all these folks being ready for the watch. Place, like, Where it got around, I guess. Maybe. And about every single person gathered here. I love her. Well, I am. I'm the most excited by a mile. The stage is set. It's my all-out power versus your strength and full fruition. Let's see who comes out on top. I love her. Imagine your name sounding like a, a disease that's killed millions. Maybe. Her name isn't even pneumonia, it's pneumona. Ah, uh, then I'm just pronouncing it. I'm just pronouncing it weirdly then. Is Warden gone gone? Yeah, Warden Big Bad gone gone. Good. And I didn't, wasn't sure which Pokemon she would throw out first. Haha! <laughs> Invoided the attack. Oh, fuck you, pneumonia. Slander pneumonia. Pneumonia. It's pneumonia, dragon. Get it right. It is pneumonia. Pneumonia. No. Pneumonia. No. Yes. Yes. A disease. No. She is not a disease. Send out the trunk. Big boy. I love big boy. He big boy. Yippee. Dead Pikachu. Shut up. Oh, nose ice punch. No. Oh God. Oh, oh, the trunk thought out immediately. It was like, fuck yeah. you. <laughs> I don't need a full restore, fuck you. <laughs> Earthworm. Oh, I know, perfect Pokemon for you. Earthworm. Oh, not the Floridian. <laughs> Go, Floridian. Oh, hi, Aderna. Aderna! Oh, hello. It's an I don't know. Hello. I beat the Pokemon League, and now I'm finding pneumonia. We also found out who the leader of Team Star was. And for us, we have know? talked before, but I'm... You might not recognize my voice because... Um, this is sick lady voice. Uh... <laughs> Don't die. That's my oh, yeah. job. Well, I don't have the headache anymore. 
That was a pain. Woke me up like three times a night. I was learning I was sick. It made it so I couldn't like eat anything. Damn. Go Anything lemon. Anything now? Yes, it made me want to go to sleep. So. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go like let some train build up. And I'll be right back. Well, no. I'll be back like 20 minutes. Okay. I can't believe that she slept crocodile became a, a bird haver crocodile. Also, wait, that bitch has, uh, three ligaments. Apparently the three ligaments one is, uh, one in 25 chance. And she it's has one. compared to the two middle ones. No. What the? Oh, that did not da that did a lot of damage. Of course it did. It was a dragon type move on the dragon type book. Come on. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? It lived no. on one goddamn health. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, the final Pokemon to the champion? Yeah. Same thing happened to me. <laughs> Fucking bitch. That's uh, probably part of the design. Yeah, but uh, the Pokemon League was very weak to fire, as me and Dragon found out. Well, most people are weak to fire, so... Alright. I had Garchomp take the... Take the hit. So, my level 81 Grand Inferno can take out the cat. Yeah, uh... Eterno, there's nothing wrong with having a level 81 Grain Inferno against a level 65 cat. <laughs> nothing wrong at all. So I just beat the champion, so yippee! I'm still ahead of you. I, I like the reason Milona. why. I, I feel like the reason why they were so easy to. The Pete was because you had over leveled Pokemon for them, too. Yeah, that's fair. And I just whooped Pneumonia's ass. Um, why is it a black screen? Hello? Oh. She dab. Or no, she's crying. No! You... You did it! This is legit incredible. You're the strongest out there, Aaron. When you knocked me out flat and I was giving you absolutely everything I had. Everything I... I... <laughs> oh man, Pokemon battling, am I right? So much better, so much more fun than I ever even knew. Thanks for that incredible match. You beat me fair and square. And let's get ourselves a minute to have a quick break, Aaron. For round two. Which Pokemon should I bring out this time? Decisions, decisions. I love her. Now, it's time 
to go into the abyss. Which is... Yo! Ah, uh, fuck. What, what did it, What do we call him? It's like, arthritis. Arthritis. We did not call him Arthritis. Well, we can call him Arthritis now, because I genuinely uh, do not remember. Ah. Uh, yo. Argon. Yo, Argon oh, here. Yeah, <laughs> Whoa, down, buddy. Don't jump up like that. Seems like hearing your voice has old memo, Steve. Here, all worked up, Aaron. Oh, what is that why I called? Nearly forgot. You remember what we talked about before? About going to Area Zero? Of course you do. You little know-it-all. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? Well, all that effort we've been putting in around Parmesan has really helped you make a name for yourself. Built up some goodwill, that's for sure. So I've been able to secure two allies who want to go to Area Zero with us. That should have us ready to tackle anything. So now, we've all got, just got to get there. First step, we'll be gathering at Area Zero. We'll be ready and, and waiting at the Zero Gate. I'll send you the location on your phone, too. Don't leave me hanging forever. The allies will probably be some people you know already. Uh, I, we already know. We'll probably be, like, pneumo pneumonia. It's, it's probably gonna be, like, pneumonia and... Honey. It's already been confirmed. A computer Penny, hacker, yeah. which is com which is Penny, and a champion, which is pneumonia. It's already been confirmed. Who we already know who it's going to be. Also, okay, wait. We didn't tell. Uh, we didn't tell Aderna who the big boss was. It's Penny. <clears throat> Penny. Hmm. We'll be waiting. Not really that surprising, but. Yeah. All right. Before I go, I'm gonna take a piss. Uh, Dragon, it's up to you to entertain the stream. Okay. So. Um. Oh, I actually I want to go into a rant. Well, for entertaining stream, I fucking hate every man that is calling Nimona a stalker or a yandere or a mixture of the both. Because she is not. Like that is so mischaracterized. Yeah. It is not. She's no, because the thing is, not a yandere. look, she's very protective of you as her rival. Like she wants you to be her rival, but it's more of like way of like she <clears throat> is kind of bad at with social skills, and not in the way of like, mm -hmm. oh, she will literally kill someone for you to be her rival. Like no, she just is like protective because she sees that you are a very capable trainer. And she wants to face someone who is a capable trainer. But not only that, people are saying, oh, she's a stalker. How is she How is she always finding the player when they're doing random gyms and stuff? It's like, you never say, you never have not, you have not questioned when the other rivals in the past games have done it. And you have never questioned when Arvin or Penny message you when you finish doing a team star base or when you finish, like when you find a legendary or like one of the legends in the wild, like a completely random chance of which one you would find in the goddamn wild. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, ugh. It's so obvious, just misogyny. It's, uh, I hate it. Well, like, also, um, <laughs> in, like, uh, earlier, I was gonna say in earlier games, they kind of, like, Played it off as they they just came out of the gym or they just they meet you at the gym because they're going to try it too. They're going to try and fight it too. With in the in the story, I, Nomona has already defeated all the gems. Like she's already a champion. So, mm -hmm. like I'm I'm seeing as all the Elite Four keep, ha can keep tabs on you. Like, some of the Elite Four just meet you after defeating, or before defeating the gym leader. Like, like, no one says that they're weird for doing that shit, but when it comes to fucking Nimona, it's like, oh, why is she doing that? It's like, 
she's probably just asking, like, what gym you're at, so that she can, like, test your skills and shit. It's not that weird. Like, it's shown that champion ranked people have power in the game. Like, they that's just, mm -hmm. they can just, like, hey, let, go, like, hey, can you look up this trainer? Like, where, where are they at? Are they doing good? No? Yes? No? Anyway, I'm back. Hello. Right, okay, so you know more about the Yandere trope, right? Uh, please, mm -hmm. for the love of fuck, tell me... You, 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 you hate... Uh, God damn it. Please tell me you don't think that Nimona is a Yandere. Has she murdered someone? No. Then no. Yeah, like, ugh, I hate people that are going on Twitter, they're like, Oh, she's such a Yandere. She's not. She's just a woman passionate about battling and is slightly protective of the fucking, the main character. When you're... <coughs> When your, like, entire knowledge of people is based on archetype, based on, I say honestly, misogynistic archetypes of women. Yeah. Like, in it's, anime. It's, it's only dudes. It is only dudes saying this shit. And it's, like, all dudes, too. It's like, she is not a stalker, you dumb fuck. Go outside. Like, ah. Uh... So annoying. It's, the game hasn't even been out for a full goddamn week and people are already ruining her character. Oh, an Eevee. Oh, and that's a deerling. Oh, an Eevee. Wait, that's not an Eevee. Shush. God damn it. I brought one Applin on me while I was going to go fight a uh, fucking Squirrel Boy and... It did not turn out to be the Pokemon I wanted. God damn it. I want it to be a shiny. Why are they not green? I'm full I'm going forward, but my Pokemon's going backwards for a moment. Oh, there we go. I could have gone through the gate, but I decided to climb instead. Hey! Over he over here. <clears throat> Your your tra your trainer went through the gate anyways. I know. This is a zero gate. It was made so researchers could observe the inside of the great crater of Parmesan. What folks call Area Zero. It's our ticket down into the crater. And when speaking of the crater, you know that Pokemon of yours, the one I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Mariadon was born, or something like that. Maybe it'll be happy that it can finally come back home. Not that I really care or anything. Anyway, our two new teammates should be waiting us inside the Zero Gate. Guess we should head in. The way home. The end of the story. And then I'll be going around playing the Pokedex. Oh, kind of dark in here. Hola, Aaron. Arvin, I mean, Argon said there'd be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. When she heard about, I heard she get to battle awesome Pokemon. She was here in a second. You're an annoying little pest at the academy, but I guess you could come in handy for this. 
Spoken like a guy who wants to get beaten in a battle. But more importantly, why is it so dark? And, wh and where are the awesome Pokemon? Yeah, it is weird that the lights are off. Last time I was here, the electricity was up and running, but now... Well, now the lights are on. But why? I, I, I turned them on. Seems like they were on powered saving mode. I hacked into the system controls and overrode the settings. Oh, it's you, the kid, Penny. the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag. Penny, yippee! Um, I guess my name's Penny. Well, well, hey, we never got to actually talk. I'm pneumonia. I'm in class 1A. Must be some kind of tech whiz. Do you like Pokemon Badline 2? Mark, you talk way, like, way too much. The, do the director introduced us. When you need someone good with tech, she's no brainer. Anyway, Penny also agreed in the second when she heard it was to help Aaron. I'm not really the inventoring type, but I owe you, Aaron. And I pay my debts. She's surprisingly old-fashioned like that. And of course, everyone knows me. Aragon. My my loves in include Mabo Stiff and Cooking and... Biometric Identification and Progress. Hello, Aaron. I've been collecting you. And it seems you have gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Um, sorry. Who are you? That's my dad. Probably. What? The Professor Toro? Pneumonia, pneumonia student ID number 805C001. And Penny, student ID number 803B121. Thank you for coming. Of course, Professor. Oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you in person. I mean, maybe not in person, exactly. Arvind, Argon, did you, uh, tell your dad about us? When would I have the time to do that? To begin with, I would like to ask you all to make your way down to the Great Crater of Parmesan. You can reach the lowest chamber using the elevator you see to your right. Um, Dad. Please proceed below. Are they not on good terms? Must not be. Alright, let's go. Fuck yeah. Let's go fuck up some strong ass Pokemon. I'm at them, they're like level five. <laughs> like you just walk in and you see a Piplup and it's like, oh. And it's level fucking like 70. <laughs> they're all like, they're all like level 100. <laughs> Biometric identification in progress. Identities confirmed. Access granted to lower level. I want to give him that voice now. For no reason. Ooh. It opened up to, for us automatically. Not quite. Looks to me like someone's controlling this thing remotely. Once you step through, you'll be above Area Zero. Aaron Bright, you have brought Maridon with you. I thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. 
if you utilize Maridon's gliding capabilities. You should be able to descend into the depths to reach Area Zero. What? Isn't there, like, an elevator or something? And, wait, did you say Maridon can fly? When you reach the bottom, I will get in touch once again. I hope your trip is uneventful. Why are you giving him a robot voice? I don't know. We are rolling people into stuff, just like always. I can't wait to see what Pokemon live down in Area Zero. Let's go. That girl, is she like incapable of fear or what? No, she's just autistic. Jesus, Penguin. She is. Look, I don't mean that in a negative way. I love her. But that is obviously an autistic bitch. I guess we better go too. Well, time autistic to go. Autistic people are cool and swaggy. I do not mean that in any rude way. And right, ready for the worst? Good, that's all we needed to hear. Get out that Pokemon of yours and we'll be off. Oh, cutscene time. No. He looked confused. No. What's the matter with it? Hmm. Scared of heights. That's what I'd say. Well, no wonder. Oh god, how are four people But nobody really scared if we go together. How does logic work? Get on! God. Oh god, you're just- <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even on it! I'm- <laughs> Everything's fine. That looks actually kind of cool with the clouds. Mm -hmm. There are some like really good bits in this game, despite like how much of a train wreck it can be in parts. It, this game is so fucking like, ah. Yeah. God, that's pretty. Okay, the trees are kind of ugly, but oh, that's pretty. If I remember correctly, yeah, a bunch of Pokemon in this this area are, like, really fucking strong. Are they stronger than Grand Inferno? <laughs> uh, no idea. <laughs> and now I'm back here again. Ha, ha. I think I might have died once or twice there. <laughs> he looks oh. like he's about to take a shit. He looks terrified. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, poor baby. It chose to go back into its ball? It probably just got hungry or something. Wait a second. Where's that student council girl? What? She's gone. You don't think she... Everyone, you have to see this. Area Zero is amazing. Imagine she, like, comes back with, like, a, a fucking Piplup or something. <laughs> Come on already. I, I... Yeah. I guess your ability would be own tempo, huh? Biometric identification in progress. Four humans identified. Condition satisfactory. That's Vital weird. signs all within normal range. It appears you are able to make the descent without being harmed. Ha! Yeah, sure. Smooth sailing. Who who think possibly complain about a landing like that? That is good. I had concerns you might fail, given the crudeness of the only available access method. Hmm? I think your dad's sarcasm detector needs fixing. 
Aw, oh, you were worried about us. That's so sweet. Watch, watch Professor Turo just be a machine the entire time. <laughs> you should make your own way to meet me at Zero Lab in the deepest part of Area Zero. However... Oh, did you interact with anything in the, uh... Wait, what? Did you interact with anything in the, the lab where you fought Arvin? I mean, we got the book, but that's about it. No, you can, like, interact with everything in here. Okay. Also, the, uh, when you interact with the small books on the shelf, it, uh, let me read what it says. There are a pi uh, there are picture books for kids. One of them tells a story about making a big sandwich. Oh my god, I'm sad. <laughs> anyway. However, the entrance to the lab is buried with by four locks installed on the exterior, which I cannot unlock. Four locks? On your way to meet me, you must... Visit four research stations that are constructed inside the crater. At each station, you'll be able to disable one of the locks. Do as, as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. I don't know why, but I just now love giving Professor Turo a robotic like, voice. Like, they're normal for a moment, then they just stop being normal. <laughs> well, like... Yeah. Uh, I know what happens in the story, so I'm not gonna say anything. Better not. Anyway. Yes, let's disable the four locks and get into the lab. Sounds like, like video gamey when you say it out loud, huh? Come on, time to find our way to the deepest part of Area Zero. Okay, now I can control myself. We can't find ride my ride on here. Oh, uh, we we can only run. So this is the inside of the Great Crater of Parmesan. Feels the difference seeing it in our textbooks. It's so intense. Nor will we never be able to get in here and see it for ourselves. Huh? Wait, where did Mariah go? It seems he's got spooked by something. It's hiding his ball. And cereal? That's not good. Can we even get back to the surface without it? It should be alright. Last time I was here, I caught a flying taxi out of the crater. They always come through for... Yeah, real slob story. Why don't you just call the professor if he's down here? Don't they get along or something? None of your business, Pipsqueak. Jeez, I'm gonna bite my head off. Alright, what are you getting all huffy for? I can't read this fast. It, it keeps skipping, so I'm just not gonna read it. It's, it's going way too fast. I've not seen any of the new Pokemon. I think you have to go down further. There's a Pokeball right over there. It's the Pokemon that Arvin had. Oh look, it's the, it's the new Drifrig evolution. Yeah, what a good boy. I have a burning grudge against that Pokemon right there. Fancy? A shiny stone. 
Can I just jump off? Chancy just went semi-transparent right there. Yep, I can jump off. <laughs> oh, I got saved by my phone, and I... What happened? You hurried back to the other so you wouldn't get separated? <laughs> the game's like, no. <laughs> No, you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> you must slowly go down. Well, that makes sense because you don't have, like, Mariah Dawn to keep you from getting hurt. Well, Rotom phone, phone saved me right at the end. Then it, the game was like, no. So yeah, you can't cheat the system as much as you want to. Holy shit, talent flames. Yeah. I have not seen a single shiny this entire game. You know, people say you can easily find them. I think the thing is, is you probably haven't found one, is because there's a bunch of shinies in this game that are barely noticeable. So, it's very possible you might have seen didn't one. You find, <clears throat> didn't you find the shiny spoo thing? No. That wasn't me. Alright. Anyway. Oh, I bet that's what we're looking for. That must be one of the buildings the professor was talking about. Oh yeah, that's... What were they called? Radish rations? Research stations. <laughs> well, I was close. Wow, you have such a great memory, Penny. That's... What's great in my common sense compared to you lot, apparently? She just insulted all of us. Oh, look. Yeah, what the heck is that? That's the Pokemon La Pangea uses. I didn't know this species can be, could be found in the Great Crater. Come on, Aaron Brett. Let's take it on together. It's a little baby. Can I catch it? Maybe. Oh no, she's also here, so probably not. Yeah, I can't. She just one-shotted it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look, I know she's strong, but holy fuck. I didn't even have to do anything. <laughs> uh, are they gonna be a lot more of these rare Pokemon down here, you think? You think that was something? Please, you have got no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. Wow, patronizing much? Easy, you two. Let's just head inside the research station. Alright. Let's do this. It was a glimmet. That's what they're called. Glimmets. Wow. Are these ancient ruins? They look far too recent for that. 
It appears you have reached your first research sta station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for all those surveilling Area Zero. Oh. So that's why there there's a bed? Looks like we can just use this place to rest up if we need to. Aaron Bright, if you if you would like to be so kind to disable the first lock on the lab, use the central panel. I'm starting to feel like this is not even the professor speaking to us. And we're about to release something really bad. Maybe. Again, I'm not- I'm keeping my mouth shut. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Cause he's starting to sound really robotic. Maybe. Yeah. Argon's family his story is really sad. Okay, so we can't go down this way. But I'm not seeing a path. So we do we just... Right? Go yeah. down? See if we can go down that way. I see. Okay. Do they follow? They don't follow. Wait, are they following? Oh, well, the pneumonia is following. Oh, they're, <laughs> they're glitching. They're all following. I have a feeling. Oh, yeah, there was a thing over there. <coughs> Not sure if we. <laughs> Look, one of them is stuck in the wall. <laughs> Let's see how high level they are. They're only level 55. I can take this bitch out. Okay, they teleported. Okay. Is this the second one? I have no idea if this is the second one or we just skipped one. Because we, we didn't go down that. <laughs> we might have skipped one. Oh, no. The second research station. About time, too. Okay, so yeah, we weren't supposed to do that. So I, I can see a path right above the building. <laughs> Whoops. Phew. Let's let's head in and take a breather. I thought you had a bit more stamina. 
Student Council girl. <laughs> I'm just full of surprises. That was not a compliment, you know. Hey, look, a deli bird. It's good to see some nice, familiar Pokemon down here, too. Fun fact that that Pokemon is banned in competitive because it's really broken. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. What the? Ah! Aaron Bright, it's battle time. Well, if it's on my own, I might be able to catch it. No. Nope. God damn it. Oh, Penny's fighting with you. Yeah. I love Penny. Yep, I was right. Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. It was definitely kind of mechanical looking for a deli bird, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. Well, this pl looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like water Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon. I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these. Huh? What's that book? I had a Monsters of Area Zero. They already read all that stuff. Monsters of Area Zero? So they aren't actual Pokemon? I don't really know. What do you think, Aaron? I don't think they're reg regular Pokemon. Why is this Palmot like completely killing everyone on my team? I don't know. Hmm, maybe. They definitely do look different at least. And I've never seen any of them in a Pokedex either. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Professor! Some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are future Pokemon that lived in distant day. We, we have yet to see. F future Pokemon? W what? That's awesome! Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab, where I am located, contains a time machine. It summons the future Pokemon to this place. So the thing my dad spent forever researching down here. He actually got it working? Indeed. Though, cost was catastrophic. The 
Because? What, a time machine? You mean you can actually travel to and from the future? It is... It is, theoretically, possible to travel to the future. However, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Dad, you... Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... If possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It'll be easier for you to understand once you see the situation for yourself. Now, then, Aaron Bright, please use a central panel here and disable another lock on my lab. Well done. Please continue here efforts at the remaining research stations. Hey, Aaron Bright. You know, that book he told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not one for experts to fix whatever the artist is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. Take care of it for me, okay, Aaron? Alright, let's get going. Oh, we got two more stations left. Apparently, Pneumonia's family is rich. Not surprising. They apparently created the Rotom phones. Oh, hell yeah. Can't tell if that's a different Bisharp or the same one. Oh god. That's a regular one. <laughs> Penny's family is unbelievably annoying. Now they're just talking about my mother and the food she makes. What the fuck? I'm pretty sure they have. I don't know. Oh, I have a lot of shit in my inventory. No. Shut up. No. Stop talking. No. I'm going to bite you. <laughs> no. Anyway. Alright, any other research station? <sighs> nice. We get to chill for a minute. 
Something's gonna jump at, out at us again. 100% guaranteed. I almost did the robot voice <laughs> for a moment there. Ah. Oh, Penny, such a worry wart. Huh? See? See? Wait a sec. This is just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. So it was a f future Pokemon all along? Well, you've battled one of these before. Argon. Argon? It looks seriously strong. Yeah, well, even Brain and I were old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us. The only thing that sucks about catching the titans is that, that they're not at actual size. Um, I can see through oh. the map. Just, just change the camera a little bit. Oh, never mind. The game did it for me. <laughs> that was easy. See that? Victory is ours. Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out the Herba Mystica came from down here. You two got to meet one of those Pokemon before our, our crater get together. Jealous. Uh, if we got things from the little girl future roaming around Parmesan, that's a major problem. Isn't Professor Toro doing anything to keep them under control? How could he let this happen? Yeah, right. Because it's not like, oh, so brilliant Professor Turo ever messes up. Come on, Aaron. Let's get to, into that research station. And we made it to station number three. How are how are we doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need rest? Hmm. You feeling rough, Penny? Hmm. Oh no, it's not that. I've just been thinking ever since the Professor mentioned that time machine. Rick one here at Area Zero came to our time from the future, right? So what about Mariadon? Isn't it pretty likely that it's also one of those future Pokemon? Wait. Is there supposed to be a Pokeball that's in the middle of the floor right there? I don't think so. <laughs> There's just a random Pokeball in the middle of the floor. <laughs> yep. I've actually had that happen before. Can you pick it uh, up? It was on one of Arvin's, uh, like, legendary thing. I think it was actually the last one. Ah. Uh, and it was glitched in the floor. Ah. Uh, oh. Huh. I think you're onto something. It is kind of giving me, giving off future vibes. Even it, its name sounds futury. Wait a sec, I totally forgot. Hey, Argon. You had Mariadon's ball, and you told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? Ugh. You still remember from that from way back? No wonder, wonder you're everybody's little star people. Guess you got no choice then, but guess I got no choice then but to tell you what I know. That Pokemon Mariadon, that is, I found by my dad when he was working on his time machine. 
I, I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanations at this point. Professor. Mariadon, which I entrusted to Aaron Bright, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the future by the time machine. Seriously? Through. Through. Analysis of its genetic makeup as well as its behavioral patterns. I came to realize that I, I had discovered was in fact a futuristic form of Silasaur, a Pokemon commonly written in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many other Pokemon also come to this place from across boundaries of time. But I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Mariadon. Huh? You mean there's another one around here somewhere? What if they're family? The other one could still be somewhere in Area Zero, waiting to finally be reunited with our Mariadon. A heartwarming family reunion? Exactly. Imagine how thrilled they'll be if we can get the family back together after all this time. Family, huh? Yeah, that sounds nice. If we could proceed, Aaron Bright, please disable the next lock using the central panel. There. Well, well done. Only one remains, remains now. Please continue on to the final research station. Only one left. And it definitely looks like we're going inside the hole. Big hole. Uh, uh, Argon? Argon? He's fine. He's, he's Argon. Gonna, he's fine. He's fine. <laughs> Argon? <laughs> oh, Argon teleported. He, he's good. Argon is Enderman confirmed. Which means we're technically in the Minecraft world. Confirmed. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Mammo Swan. Oh, wait, no, it's Thick Flip. They look like Mammo Swan from the back. Oh! Wait. It's two. Look, oh, it's another one of those. Ooh, that looks pretty. Oh, well, I see the lab. Oh my gosh, look at those huge, gorgeous crystals. They go all the way to the bottom. One slip and we can kiss our short lives goodbye. Oh, good call. Watch your step. So the fist is down there somewhere waiting for us. And that's fine. Totally fine. Alright, team. Watch your selves and let's get to the bottom of this thing. 
This place looks unreal. Maybe there really is treasure down here, like the stories say. Yeah, this place is like something from a whole other world. Makes it feel like maybe you already died and went somewhere. Is it just me, or do crystals here give off the same glow as when Pokemon terrestrialize? There's gotta be some sort of connection. Only one way to find out. Come on, everybody. Let's keep moving. We've got to go all the way down. Is this actually a thing I interact with? No. Oh. No, you can't interact with it. Damn, that's oh, wait. I might be able to catch you. All right, get over here, bitch. I'm catching you. Don't die. Never mind. I'm not catching it. Uh, wait, is that a metal hydrogen? Mm -hmm. Yo, that actually looks sick. I'm gonna try Snarl since it's my lowest. Okay, so yeah, I can just hit Snarl a bunch of times and I'll be fine. Okay, you're not gonna damage me much. Just need to get it low enough that I can catch it. Damn, this is going to take a while. God damn it. Okay, good. None of us attacked. <laughs> oh, there goes Frost. Oh, okay. Are you shiny? What do you mean? I found another shiny. Oh, good for you. I've yet to see one. Oh, I don't want to lose this bitch. Please catch. Got it. Yeah. Lucky you. It's a giraffe rig. It had a blue nose. God, they need to add back the shiny sound when you find a shiny. Don't they do like the star thing? No, they don't do the shine. Uh, they do the shine thing when you interact with the shiny, but they don't do it out in the overworld anymore. Uh, a lot of people are speculating that they're gonna add it back because a lot of people, like, especially people with color blindness, are like struggling with it, with shiny uh, hunting. So a lot, they're they're speculating they're gonna add the animation back or at least a sound effect or something. Come on, get caught, bitch! But holy shit, I should have shaved, uh, should have saved before I interacted with it because. Damn it! Would have been bad. Stay caught in the Pokeball. I don't have a dust ball. That's my third shiny of the game. Just randomly finding one. <laughs> Come on! Get caught in this net, bitch. Okay, that did not work. Right, that's for water type. The net? No, net is actually for bug types. It's for both. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, it's for water and bug. And you, you, they aren't bug. You don't know that. 
Oh fuck, wait, that means because I caught a shiny Garafferig, that means I can see what its shiny evolved form looks like. Ooh, I'm so hyped. Oh my god. I was trying to say anything. Uh, you don't- you don't have one! The well, Pokeball won't work! I don't have any right. good Pokeballs! The- The catch it! Right? Why? Use the Pokeball? Yeah, it, it has very low success uh, rate so. at this- at that high level. For this type of Pokeball. See? Very low success rate. Well, you have so many, you might as well try. Funnily enough, I've caught, like, legendaries with a regular Pokeball. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah I caught- I caught a fucking, um, I caught Rayquaza with one fucking Pokeball. Well, they have low success rate, which is why I prefer the Ultra Balls. But I ran out. Try the Nest Ball. I don't... That, that's... Oh, oh! Okay, you were first. That's for Pokemon that have lower levels than your Pokemon. What? No, I don't think that- that small is not that. Yeah? Pretty sure that's not what that is. Here, let me- Wow, and it immediately got caught. <laughs> Told you. I thought the net- I'm pretty yeah, sure the nest ball. ball was like for bug types, mainly only. Used to catch wild Pokemon more likely to succeed against lower level Pokemon. Ah. Uh, the Iron Juggalus, the Paradox Pokemon. It's possible that Iron Juggalus. Right, and... this is why you. This is why you read the descriptions of the Pokeballs. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. It's possible that Iron Juggalus, an object described in an old book, may actually be this Pokemon. No. Nah. Is this even in a Pokedex? Oh yeah, it is. Well, we got one of the new Pokemon. That's obviously a Pokemon flower thing right there. I wanted to get that Deli bird, but... Apparently my Pokemon's too strong. Here we go. And get the robotic deli bird. I'm gonna try snarl. Oh, I cannot hurt him anymore. <laughs> Got him. The Iron Bundle. Which is the, another Paradox Pokemon. It resembles a mysterious object mentioned in the old book. There are only two reported sightings of this Pokemon. Well, I killed one of them. <laughs> Wait, can you... Breed the iron, iron Pokemon. No. Oh, you can't. You have to catch them. I was thinking like like the Masuda method. Wait, what was that Pokemon you just passed? Oh, that yeah, one. It I... had a different colored face. Wait. This one? No. Oh no, never mind. No, that's just a random Pokemon. There's a lot of them. I'm looking for the iron ones that are just mainly the. Important ones to find down here. I know there's an iron Gardevoir. Oh, here's where you're supposed to get the Gibbles. You can get the Gibbles anywhere. Like, especially in cave areas. Uh, well, the high level Gibbles.
Okay, I see a TM over there, and I'm going straight for it. Like how they said, there's only two sightings of the Iron Deli Bird, and I've seen a whole bunch of them. I guess definitely well, only duh. two sightings. Well, duh, there's normal. Most people won't be down here, so of course they wouldn't have more sightings. Well, the fun fact: the books that you find in the labs, the blue books, uh, you can actually read them, and they talk about terrestrializing. Where the hell are we supposed to go? Because there's a big rock in our way. <laughs> I'm supposed to interact with it? No. Fuck. Oh, there's another robot. Hydrogen. What the hell? Maybe we weren't supposed to go this way. Which is quite possible. Where are those little teeny things? Those must be the babies of that, that thing right there. That's cute. So does that mean, uh, Gita has something to do with Area Zero? Who? Oh, the probably. Uh, or that Pokemon arrived on the surface, like the others. Right. Yeah, I was supposed to go down here. Now what type of iron Pokemon am I going to fight this time? Oh, I swear if it's the fucking Gardevoir. Probably going to be the Gardevoir. <laughs> Oh, I can't go in here. Oh, now I can. There we go. <laughs> oh, damn. Whoa, what happened? This place is a mess. It looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. God, Professor, you, you, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything in here is all busted up? I'm... I'm sorry. Hello, children. Got my gun? I'm so sorry, so sorry, so I'm so sorry. Hello, children. Children, hello, hello. What, what the heck? St stop that, you're creeping us out. Hello, hello, hello ch children, yeah, children, ch ch children, oh fuck, I actually did the wrong thing. <laughs> children, ch ch children, ch children. Initiating restart. Professor must be the professor must have, be having some weird connection problems or something, huh? Well, it was definitely weird at least. Almost like I don't know. If he meant it as a joke, it wasn't funny. I still got goosebumps and all. I'm gonna push the button. All locks are disabled. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, hello? Can you hear me now? Please for, for, forgive me my my previous transmission. 
there seems to be some signal interference. That's not what it what that was. What do you mean, Ar Argon? The locks have all been disabled. At last, please make your way now to the, to the Zero Lab, which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. Okay, yeah, you can't interact with Pokeballs. Where'd you like to go? The Zero Gate. I'm gonna guess you're gonna go get Pokeballs. Wait, what? Oh, do I need Pokeballs? Well, if you're gonna catch anything. I got plenty of Pokeballs. God damn it. Reach for turn number four. I had to go. To, I I didn't know. I thought I had to use that to go where I needed to go. God damn it. Let's progress further down, then. I'm supposed to go over here, but I'm going over here anyway to collect shit. Well, instead of fighting a deli bird, I have to fight a jigglypuff. Really? Mm-hmm. Called Screamtail. Oh my god, that's cute. Set our version exclusives. Yeah. Kind of sucks you can't breed them due to shiny Masuda method. Or do you actually know for certain you can't breed them? Well, I don't know. I know they don't have previous... Uh, I know they can't evolve and they don't have previous evolutions. Then they... Then you probably just have to breed them for ditto. I haven't seen a robotic Gardevoir, which is the one I want to see. Unless that's the one you're going to see, instead of Hydrogen. No, you're going to see the robots. You see the robots, I see the old Oh, dinosaurs. that's right. Wait, are the dinosaurs part of my Pokedex that I have to get? Yes. Okay. I have to trade some to you, and you have to trade some to me. Got Shadow Ball. That would have been useful earlier in the game. Oh, I already have Shadow Ball as a, a move for uh, Grand Inferno. <laughs> no, I mean as a TM. Oh, yeah. I have a feeling I shouldn't have opened the locks. There it is. Have we finally reached the deepest part? We made it. Ready to see if those ledges of treasure down here are for real. Heh, <laughs> yeah, right. That's just fluff. I thought they write to fill the textbooks. Hello, children. You've done well to make it here. The structure 
you see right before you is the Zero Lab. That's, that's where you are, right, Professor? But wait, why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed up by crystals? The crystals here in Area Zero possess a peculiar energy. This energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. It is the same energy that allows Pokemon to terrestrialize. So this entire building's been terrestrialized? Is that what you're saying? Don't be silly, Argon. Professor implied something important about Terra Orbs just now. They're made from the crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Indeed. They may, though, not many know it. Since you've disabled all four locks, the gate to the Zero Lab should be open for you. But once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted by the dangerous Pokemon inside. They will likely make a break for freedom. With the, f with, with the four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Prepare yourselves well, then. Open the gate. You've got me and Aaron Bright here. Doesn't matter what we're up against, we'll be fine. Heh. <laughs> Alien, that puts my worries to rest. This is probably where we fight the Guard of War. Probably. Hold it. Huh? Why? We're finally at the cups of getting into the lab. Look, if it's true that a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might come at us, then shouldn't we also have Maridon help? Yeah, if Maridon were like how we first saw it in Inlet Grotto, that'd be a huge help. I want to see it battle. Uh, but it hasn't wanted to let us ride it ever since we came down to Area Zero. And it can't enter its battle form in the first place. But it's really strong, I know it is. It ate all those Herba Mystica to be found too. When it really matters, I'm sure it'll fight. And Area Zero is where it used to live. If you bring it out of, out of its ball now, maybe it'll be able to, f to find its family too, right? That's pretty sensible by your standards, Argon. Hmm, I don't know. Go on, Aaron. Let Mariah on out. Alright, Aaron. Come on. I mean, alright. Come on, Aaron. Now we got Mariah on ready. It's time to open that gate. Oh, fuck. Oh. Family reunion. It's happening. Whoa. No way. That doesn't look like a family reunion. Oh, he's so sad. 
No, something's not right. That one was not like people. Anti-social. Huh? What's wrong? Are you bummed that your heartwarming family reunion got cut off so quickly? Are you joking? There was nothing heartwarming about it. We were this close to getting caught up in a nasty brawl. Wait, for real? Just look at Mariodon. Poor thing's terrified. Guess the other one isn't exactly its pal. Yeah, that Pokemon was giving off some real bad vibes. Uh, not that you should worry about a thing. Any of that. Once once we get back into your battle form, I'm sure you're going to, you'll be going toe to toe against that jerk. If you know, if you want to. Sorry, guess that doesn't really help, huh? Do you think that mo other Mariodon was one of the dangerous Pokemon Professor warned us to watch out for? But didn't Professor say the dangerous Pokemon would come out from the inside? You, you mean from inside the gate we just... What the? Got surrounded. We're surrounded. And it's pretty obvious they're not here to, to throw out a friendly welcome, Matt. There's no way we can handle this many. You don't tell me they're all future Pokemon. We got a little disaster on our hands here. Look, even that fella's ready to bail. Then I guess it's my turn. I've been waiting. Come on, Aaron. Let's do this together. We're taking them down one at a time. <clears throat> Wish I could catch it. That was easy. Now they're strong. Now this is a worthwhile challenge. I'm glad you're on our side, but you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. Gah, why are they coming at me? Aaron, help me out here. Why just one? What the fuck? No. That did some damage. Oh my gosh, it nearly killed her Pokemon at one blow. And it was defeated. God, the future must be terrifying. Oh no, they're running away. 
Yeah, and? If those Pokemon get out, they're... We're gonna have a gigantic mess on our hands. We gotta go after them, Penny. Why me? Wait. Ah, what all that pneumonia? Why do I have to get the feeling you're enjoying all this? I hope the two of them can handle their part. But at least the crowd's been thinned out now. Guess it's up, it's up to us to deal with that. Let's go to the strong looking one first. Luckily I caught this one already, so I already know it's weak to. <laughs> you can't hurt me with Hyper Boys. See, the power of friendship had us perfectly in sync, all thanks to our Titan hunting together. Still scared, huh? You already might have to face that other one if you can. Well then, let me get, take on some of the burden. Those stri stragglers should be nothing. Me and Mabosif can take them. So, Aaron, take your partner there and go take care of the business. <laughs> Glad to see you have some faith in us at last. Mabosif can't wait to battle either. Maraidon. You really ruined my whole childhood, you know. But it's not like seeing you cowering and scared out of your wits make me feel any better about it. You got amazing powers if you just use them. And you've got us too, so... So so don't even think about losing to that jerk. Be brave and st stand up and fight. Can't ride my ride on here. Okay. Human presence detected within zero lab. Deactivating sleep mode. Yep, I knew it. He's a fucking robot. Yeah. Hello, Aaron Bright. Thank you for coming. No. Back to your ball. Oh, the Master Ball. That one is far less track tractable and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Here, Mariadon fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Toro. I am an, I am an artificial intelligence the professor created, embedded with his memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered unit. The real prof hmm? It was imbued. Oh, and beautiful. Whatever. whatever. The the real professor passed away. 
during the incident that destroyed research station number four. The Pokemon is not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the professor will think no nothing more than for the Mariodon to survive and thrive. That is why he threw himself in front of your Mariodon in an attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to Director Cla Clavicle and asked him to put in contact with you. Clavicle, oh wait, with you. I am never, I was never more than an AI. Aaron, the reason I asked you, you to come, to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at, at the Zero Lab, and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any questions can be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. Booster energy and item to help on performing certain abilities. Oh, well. This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step aside. Aaron Bright, it truly is a great relief to me that you came. I will answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, his physical body received grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. I am afraid that this fact may be difficult for his son, Argon, to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. A, a computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The results of those calculations are expressed by his by this mechanical body. Built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present. But the crystals that made up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They, also, they are also why I cannot leave this place. The time machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. 
it sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there. And it can then draw them back here to the present. When he was alive, P Professor Turo had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age. What you would call future Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw future Pokemon to this time. The original professor had a dream of a world in which future Pokemon might live alongside present day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon have gained a strange power due to their adaptations in the distant future. And this power of power has proved too terrible. Their existence brings destruction to the, the ecological balance of this current age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At, pr at present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the future Pokemon from escaping into the rest of Parmesan. But, but we've begun to see Pokemon appear that, that can break the barrier, such as Iron Treads. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden, known as Area Zero, and run rampant across the Parmesan region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Parmesan will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as a copy of the Professor. And yet, I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original professor ever devised. Aaron, Aaron, you, you have become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength you have gained to destroy the dream Turo once cherished. I appreciate your willingness to help. Oh, there's a Pokeball on the ground again. Apparently that's on every floor, so I think that's supposed to be there. I think it's supposed to be there. Is on every floor of every building I've been in, so I think it's supposed to be there. Anyway, we have reached the lowest level. Oh shit, this is trippy as fuck. <coughs> Behold. This is the time machine. We perfectly use we, we perfect perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within that violet book. It was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book, of all places. He loved that volume since childhood. 
if you place the violet book upon the pedestal here, you will be able to stop the time machine. There is just one issue. If you if you try to stop the machine, I will most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are fearless. They are built upon analysis of all, ba all the battles carried out by the various champions of the Parmesan region. region. Haven't seen the bond between you and, and your Pokemon. However, I believe you can prevail. Once you have readied yourself for this fight, please place the Violet Book upon the pedestal. Alright, I'm about to whoop your ass. Be confirmed. Professor Toro, initiating emergency shutdown. Please wait. Please wait. Access denied. Shut down command overridden. Reinitializing. It's up to you now, Aaron Bright. AI Toro switching to sleep mode. Activating offensive protocols. Please defeat me. At at last. At last my dream is within reach. And you're not getting in the way. I feel bad for the AI. Mm -hmm. That means that the actual Professor Toro was, was the bad guy. In a way. Or just didn't live long enough to realize what they were doing was dumb. Yeah. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get in the way of my goals. Yeah, that's not very effective. Ah, god damn it. Ooh, that did decent damage. I did not mean to hit it again, god damn it. <laughs> They're at one health. Yeah, I'm gonna have to heal. Probably closer to 10 or 20. Iron Thorns. Oh, oh I think that's the Guard of War one. No. Nope. Big boy. I'm gonna heal. So I can get rid of this damn paralysis. Yes, good job, Grand Inferno. It's not very effective. Shit. And I'm saying out Garchomp then. I mean Lemon. I keep forgetting Lemon's name for some reason. 
It's Lemon's Ground, so he won't be affected by Stone Edge. Yeah! That's right, bitch. Liquidation. Super effective. Fuck. Oh, that hurt. That's fine. The min hook took it in there. Yeah, fuck you. Iron Bundle. That's the, uh, what was it called? Yeah, him. Yeah, it was that one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Bundle penguin boy. That's bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's why it's banned and competitive. Oh hi bookworm. The yeah, crater was weird as fuck. Yeah. Iron Juggalus. Okay, which I believe was that Hydrogen guy, so Fairy. Should do well. Go, Eris. I believe in you. How many Master Balls do they have? Gee. Six, I'm guessing. Oh shit, of course you know Flash Cannon! Fuck you! Yeah, fuck you. Iron Hands. Let's send out the Chonk. I believe in the Chonk! Because I know... If I'm... If I do believe I... It is what I think it is. Yep. Then Gardevoir we got in her her ass kicked. Fuck you. I hate that damn move so much. Oh come on! That's some bullshit. Make me flinch twice, you jackass. Really? Alright, guess what I have a special form of in my game. I really don't care. I'm concentrating I'm right now. Fuck! Let's heal. Okay. The Chong can take another hit. As long as they don't fucking flinch. Of course you do another fucking critical. God damn it! Fucking hate that flinching shit. Don't flinch. Come on! Seriously? Every single time I go to use a fucking move, they say it flinched. Ah! <sighs> <sighs> Sw 
swear to fuck. Yes, fuck you! Fuck. Fuck you. Still not as bad as the Ultra Beast, but fuck you. I don't think I have anyone... Well, I can try in, but I don't think I have anyone good enough against Gardevoir, because I think that's the last one, which is Gardevoir. You're on your last Pokemon, bud. Yeah. I like our design, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. Ice Fang. No. Okay. Then I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go over here. Heal you. Cause I think it's poison. They're weak too. I was just gonna throw in a hydro pump. Oh. And, and I didn't even get to fight. used flamethrower. What? No, that just because they're called iron stuff doesn't mean they're an iron type. Steel. Steel type. Or steel type, right? Steel. Only a few of them are. Not all of them are iron. Prepare to get fucked up by the chonk. The chonk will hey, stop bye. you. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, fuck you. Super effective. And the chonk wins. It, 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 possible. And I did it. Yep, GG, says Bookworm. I agree. I can't... Is this... No, this isn't the first time they've, like, said a character was killed off, right? No. Like, actually killed, not like they danced around it. Well, no, they did use an Arceus. They did mention being killed by Pokemon. Yeah. Anyway. Even break. What? What is this? Did you already beat all the baddies without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you really? Th 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 so thank you for everything. The time machine has finally, he has fi finally been stopped. You're really not my dad, are ya? Oh, look how big you're, you've grown. So f f proud of y you, my... Sorry you were alone s so long. Are gone. D dad? S security system failure. Security system failure. Threat to time machine deactivated. I mean, detected. Threat to time machine detected. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on now? 
Is there another army of Pokemon on its way here? It cannot be. Uh oh. An obstacle preventing preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Activating Paradise product Protection Protocol to remove fencing. What was keeping time machine running truly all the professor cared about? Lacking all Pokeballs except registered to Toro's ID. Wait, wait, what? Program initializing gathering terrestrial energy. I'm so sorry, children. This is too much for you. You must run. Wait, then how am I going to fight back? Running. You are not getting away. Challenged by AI Toro. You are challenged by Paradise Protection Protocol. Oh, it's Mariodon. Oh, shit. Oh, that's... Oh, no. Can't battle a Pokemon on the field. It's true, our Pokeballs won't work. How are you supposed to, even supposed to battle? Oh. Mariadon. This is registered the Tor Taurus. I'm a, we're about to whoop your ass. That's right, motherfucker. Jim, uh, Electro Drift. Well, that's fine. I'm coming right at your ass. That did not do much. <laughs> it changed back to his battle form. Let's go, Maridon. You got this. Terror Blast? You all fail here in Scarlet Paradise and achieve nothing in the end. Oh shit. Ow, that did a lot of damage. I can't, I'm not doing much damage to him. You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles of my goal will be eliminated. That ain't good. Seems... This, this looks really bad. Hang in there, Aaron. Maybe you're supposed to lose? That would make no sense. It was Hyper Beam? That's bullshit. Oh, he's at one health. Can it not? I toughed it out so you wouldn't feel sad. I don't think you're supposed to lose. No. 
You took the hit like a champ. You can do this. I know you can. And I can still use items, so that's good. Take this full restore, bud. I think you're guaranteed to win. Oh, is Mario on much charge? Oh man, we can't put it win here. This doesn't look good. Hey, hey, Run, your terror, terror orbs glowing. Air bright, air bright, right on. Crystallize and finish this off. Damn, all my stats are rising with Mariadon. Oh, hell yeah, bitch. You fucked up now. You can't take down me. Fuck you, bitch! You defeated the Paradise Protection Proto uh, Protocol. You did it! Is it... It's... It's not going berserk anymore? Ow. Ow. Very astounding. Do you think that you managed to defy even the original professor's final protections? Are you back to normal? Yes, a completely unforeseen outcome, even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead proved your worthiness. Showing the wisdom to think for yourselves, the courage to hold faith in your friends any fortitude to do what they have done no matter how challenging of a future may await you i believe you'll be capable of walking whatever paths you choose for yourselves now with pride i thank you Aaron bright i thank all of you children but I am afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. It appears as myself and part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. Huh? Huh? What, what, what does that mean? I am sorry. He has to see his dad die. You're my game, he has to see his mom die. Mm. You know, when I was watching you on all on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envy you your freedom. The way that you came together, working in, in league with your fellows and caring for them. The way that you sought strength and to better yourself throwing all you are into your battles. The way that you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. The way that you never cease to seek nor to fight for a treasure all on your own.
Ah, and the way you soared free through the very skies. I wish on those wings of yours. I wish that I, too, might have been free as you all. Free to seek out with that which I might treasure. Above all else, not bound. Your own treasure. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop. For I am interestfully and connected to it. So I've made a decision. I will use the time machine to journey to the world of the future that I have dreamed of. What? You can't just leave now, right when we finally reached you. I am not going. Only so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my desire to see that that future world for myself. Is this what it feels like to have your heart race with, with the thrill of adventure? Argon. I am sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor, and I so understand better than any. Your father truly loved you. You, you, you can't. You can't just go and say a thing like that now. No, I suppose you're right. I am sorry. Argon, Maridon, Aaron. It is a little sad, but I am afraid this is goodbye. Dad! Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu. Damn. Well, he didn't die. Well, when you go to the past, there is no going back. Or I guess the future in this case. Wait, is yours also a cyborg? Yep. Uh... How could you just go? Dad. Arvin, you okay, bud? Also, it's not a cyborg, it's an AI. Cyborg means half-human. Alright. So what type is this goddamn thing? Yeah, Very somewhere sick. deep down. I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was a fake, but it... When it said my name, using his voice and wearing his face, even if it was fake, it felt real, you know? And so I just, I... Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. That's okay. That's, that's okay. I guess Maridon is sad too. Oh, but that battle form, how cool is that? It's so strong. If it tries to nudge at me for a belly rub while it's huge like this, I seriously think I'm going to die. Hey, hey now, let's not skip over the big win here. Aaron, Bright, and Maridon just saved all of all of Parmesan. That, that's right. You both did amazing. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah, that's my bud Aaron for you. You know, Arvin, um, even though the professor's gone, but he, he's finally having a real fun adventure of his own. 
of his own in the future. Yeah. Thanks, Penny. Um, yeah. Sorry. What should we do now, Aaron? Yep, let's go home. You said it. Come on, everyone. Let's make our way home. supposed to destroy it well he the ai was connected to the time machine so with the ai gone the time machine can't be connected or activated so as long as he's gone there's nothing to worry about It's just a black screen. I'm totally happy about this. Don't you just love black screens? It's probably loading. I love black screens so very much. Do I need to hit a button? Oh, I had to hit A. God damn it. Okay, everybody, listen up. What is it? Let's take a long road home. And a little bit more fun out of the adventure. I don't really... Sounds, gr sounds great. You can hold up snacks first. I'm in. Hey, Eric, right, right, not you two. Oh, alright, fine. I guess we're doing this. Wait, there's English voice acting that song at the end? Oh, it's an Ed Sheeran song, if I remember correctly. Oh shit, should I turn it off? I don't know. Yeah, probably. I just turn off music. Um, that was a cute ending. Yeah, the music is the song is really good. Oh, the Paradox Pokemon cannot be bred. Mm. So Shiny Honey Num is going to be harder. Yep. Kind of sucks I can't let the music play because copyright. Also, so you know how yours went purple, mine goes red. That's pretty cool. Oh.
So now, since I defeated a story, all that's left for me to do now is complete the Pokedex. Yep. Oh, is it over? Yeah, it's over. That sheer song's over, so I can bring that back in. Yippee! I'm surprised that it opened up with that, though. So there's, I haven't seen a single Pokemon game that ever had an English opening, the song, at all. It's really odd. Now I gotta sit through all these credits. I'm gonna leave for right now. Alright. Might come back later though. Okay. Bye. Apparently, so the variants were your game. Uh, the Chinese are really, really not good. <laughs> they just turn, like, a chrome white-ish color. Oh, that's cute. Oh, That's adorable! Oh, is there still a little bit more story? Well, that's just a paradox Pokemon where to find all Pokemon. God damn it. Stupid Google. Calling students to the director's office. Miss Aaron Bright, Miss, Miss Pneumonia, Master Aragon, and Miss Penny. Uh, I'll be right back. Hi. Okay. Entertain the stream. Okay. What typing is this goddamn thing? Oh, fighting dragon. Oh, that's pretty cool.
Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is after I finish what's ever left of the story, mm -hmm. which shouldn't be long, it's probably just a little mm -hmm. more dialogue, mm -hmm. I'm gonna uh, eat dinner. That means you'll have full control of the stream. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Don't get me banned. I could get you banned. Don't. I could. Don't don't you fucking do it. I could. You, well, get... would you, you wouldn't be there to stop me. I could get you banned. I could report you 17 times to Twitch. <laughs> I immediately mute you in Discord. What the fuck? Anyway. Director Clavicle would like to see you in his office. Ha! <laughs> Looks like the hero is finally here. Would you join us, Miss Aaron? We're in for an earful, aren't we? Guess we're go we'll find out soon enough. No need for the concern, you two. I'm not angry in the slightest. I'm really called you all here to discuss your fine achievements in this year's treasure hunt. You shut down the down the professor's time machine and thus prevented the Pokemon from the future from running rampant across Parmesan. Your actions are truly outstanding in every regard, and I couldn't be prouder of you all. Though your decision to enter a strictly off-limits area was immediately regrettable. <laughs> you got us there. However, since this was necessary to protect Parmesan and its precious ecosystems, I am willing to overlook this overlook that particular point. Phew. So we're not getting ranked o over the coals after all. Oh, before I forget, Miss Aaron, there's something I would like you to have. Each of your friends have received one already, so this is this one is for you. A Master Ball. Oh, and about the Hall of Fame badge I gave you a short while ago. That gift is one we bestow only upon students who achieve truly remarkable feats. I expect you to honor what that badge represents by striving always to serve as a model for your fellow students. Splendid. Such enthusiasm will surely take you far in life. And Master Ar Argon, I, I was so sorry to hear about that about the professor. You have my deepest condolences. Ah, uh, well, yeah, it was pretty rough when I found out about my, out my dad had died. Weirdly enough, my head actually feels clear now, for the first time in ages. In the Great Crater, I get to learn a bit about my dad's research and what he was trying to achieve down there. I guess if you're building something as mind blowing as that as a time machine, that takes priority over showing. Showering your son with attention, huh? All I know is I'm done, done feeling like I lost my, I'm some lost little kid. Done. Time to say goodbye and move on. I'm gonna join every last day to a graduation with my buds here in Mavistiff, of course. Well said, Mister Argon. You truly are your father's son. Of course, I must remind you that you're nowhere near enough credits to graduate. 
You need to study frantically to catch up, but I have every ex expectation for your success. Why? And let us not forget the other good news. Our academy has a new champion. Though we sadly cannot make your valiant deeds in a great greater known to the public, our new your new champion rank at least should be celebrated throughout the whole school. Oh, I know we should how we should celebrate. We should hold up a Pokemon battle contest. S seriously, could we not? Classic, classic pneumonia. A Pokemon battle contest, you say? While your own vested interests in such a venture are more apparent, Miss Pneumonia, I think it is a fine idea. But please understand that a large-scale event will be quite beyond us. We have many other school activities to keep an eye on, after all. Pardon my intrusion, but I couldn't help over here. Pokemon League will, of course, happily hand in Land a hand in organizing this contest. La Pangea? Well, well. The most kind offer, Chairwoman Gita. I do everything in my power to nurture young and up, up and coming talent. Though, that's not to say only the youth have promise when it comes to Pokemon battles. A former gym leader, the, the developer of the Pokédex app, this academy clearly counts many skilled trainers of Pokémon among its staff. As such, my suggestion is as follows. Students and staff should compete for the title of the strongest trainer at the academy. Whoa, we get to battle the teachers? You'd complete too, right? Primaria? Uh, uh, Pangea? Is that even allowed? She won't be standing part of the academy, right? Actually, I think she's the chairwoman of the school board as well as the Pokemon League. Wait, for real? I mean, I know she was on another level, but wow. Thank you for the invitation, Champion Pneumonia. I would gladly take up on your kind offer to compete alongside you all, but I'm afraid my schedule is already packed tight with work. Then it that I simply must attend to. Aw, oh, can't you freeze sometime, somehow? Well, I suppose I might be able to participate if Champion Aaron would agree to lend me a hand with my work. Excellent answer. Must oblige, Champion Aaron. Get straight to it. I'd like you to go out and expect Pangea's various gems in my stead. Are they fulfilling their duties as beacons of strength and inspiration for all those aiming to achieve champion rank? Or has their brilliance started to fade? To find this out, I ask you to bring your full might as champion to bear against each of the gym leaders and test their prowess in battle. They are all trainers of exceptional talent handpicked by me personally. I don't expect you to find any cracks in their armor, but well, consider it a formality. This also provided the perfect stage for your first appearance as the a new champion. Since other gym leaders will be expecting me to carry out the, the inspection, I imagine they'll have mustered their full strength. I dare say they might be more of a challenge than when you face them alone. You get to have all-out battles with gym leaders? Man, I'm jealous. Now then, on another crucial matter. I'd like to discuss with Penny on how to patch the weakness in our league point system. Um, but there's a bunch of anime I missed while I was gone. I was just gonna binge. Oh my god, Penny's an a weeb. <laughs> no. Thank you. Thank you in advance for your willing, willing and eager cooperation. Yeah, I, I, I mean... I'll do it. I'll help. Let me help. Excellent. We'll leave you all to it then. Come now, Penny. Oh, poor Penny. Also, I'm pretty sure the song that they just put into the Pokemon game is like stuff you hear on the radio. I'm pretty sure I heard the song on the radio. I can't hear you. Hatchet plays Scare Bright. 
Oh. I couldn't hear anything. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the um, the song that's played at the end of the credits, that is that it's a song I've heard on the radio. So yeah, you probably would have gotten copyrighted if you let it play. Did you know there's actually... Okay, so the first day that the, ca the game came out, there was one mod made automatically, and it was to remove the Ed Sheeran song at the end of the game. That was it. It changed nothing else but besides removing the Ed Sheeran song at the end of the game. Wow. <laughs> anyway, ha hi, Hatchet. Oh. I... Uh... I feel like gas, and I had trouble sleeping, so I'm here much later than I wanted to be. That's fine. Um, apparently my dad was dead. I mean, not my dad. Uh, uh not my dad. <laughs> I meant, uh, Argon's dad was dead the entire time. Damn. Yeah, what we saw on the TV and everything was an AI. I'm confused. Wait, what? You know, uh, on the TV where it, where uh, the professor was speaking to us, that person, that was an AI, not a not not the professor. The professor died. Oh. Uh, yeah, they specifically Arvin said he orphan. died. Yeah. I see. I forgot who we called Argon as the guy with the hair. Yeah, the one that gave an annoying voice. Uh, okay. Yeah. Are you up for voice acting? Guys. Uh, not really. I kind of okay. want to hard focus on making That's cards. Fine. Show me this think... inspection thing who's boss so the La Pangea can join our tournament, okay? Also, you want to know the voice I gave the, the little child in Elite Four? Sure. Hello, Hatchet. <laughs> I gave them that voice. I approve. <laughs> Actually, Hatchet, you wanted something fun also? Because I was, I... No. Wait, how much, much dialogue? I love Nimona. I don't get why people fucking fuck up her character. I love her. Okay. <laughs> I'll, wait, I'll, say the, I'll say the fun fact after the, the dialogue is done. That'll probably be for a while, but anyway. And enjoy taking another swing at the gym gauntlet while you're at it. I'll take care of filling out the forms and other administrative stuff so the ball gets rolling on torment in the meantime. I say it's wonderful. Uh, I'm gonna go eat. Okay. It's I say it's wonderful to see you all showing such initiative. You each have a critical role to play. Penny assisting the league, our new champion inspecting gyms, demonia raging the event. Give it your best, everyone. Guess my role is so obvious it goes without saying. Can I take these Pokeballs? Mm. No. Oh yeah, Bright, did you uh see my message I sent in Twitch chat? Yeah. A while ago, yeah. Um right. Yeah, my internet uh, like Xfinity took it went to shit so I had no internet for a while so I had to cancel a stream for a while uh, but I did see the message okay how long did that take to get back up and running uh it went down at eight o'clock and I believe and uh it kept going on and off until noon mm-hmm -mm. Saw a couple hours. Nice to see. Yeah. That's a pain in the ass. Yeah, now there's only one thing left to do. Well, I'm not going after the gems and everything right this moment. That can be, like, taken later. But the first thing I want to do is complete the Pokedex. Because, like, the gem thing isn't really part of the story. It's nothing you can do. Like, after story Have shit. Yeah. Well, have you already completed the... Um... Oh, yeah, we went... 
in here. We completed the Pokemon League and we took down all the Team Star people. Okay. So yeah, all that's left really I want to do is take is fill out the Pokedex. So now you know who started Team Star. Yeah, it was Penny. Yeah. But in hindsight, like, I had at one point, like, been thinking, uh, the person who, like, was contacting you, like, my brain had at, like, one point thought, maybe that person is actually Penny, and then at another point thought, maybe that person is actually the one who started Team Star. And, like, one little thing that was in front of us the entire fucking f time. Uh, do you... Do you remember the name of the person that was contacting you? Uh, Cassiopeia. Yeah, Cassiopeia. All of the Team Star leaders were named after either a singular star or a constellation. Yeah. Uh, guess... Get, 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 guess whether or not Cassiopeia is a constellation. <laughs> it's constellation. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So I decided to pull something up that tells you um, where Pokemon are. So I can, you know, fill it, finished Pokedex. Uh, Hoppip, Skip Bloom, J Jump Pluff, Fleshling, Flesh and Dirt, Town and Flame. They don't sell, tell a location for any of those Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> that, that's great! Ow. Oh, wow. It, oh my gosh, it's not even fully filled out. It's constantly... There's... 90% of it is not even filled out. God damn it. This is a terrible website. <laughs> Cerebi. That's a good place. Okay. How many Pokemon are you going to have to catch and then evolve to fill out the Pokedex? Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know how much is in here, but I have filled out a lot of the Pokedex on the way. As you can see. Yeah. Just really just have to catch them. That's all the problem. Ooh, that's right. I, I've caught some... Really cool future Pokemon. I gotta show you, Hatchet. Oh wait, is um, does the way that it works like the evolutions of <laughs> of any given Pokemon just ends up being made into the same book as the previous evolution, like uh, on the shelf? If you catch it, it'll it'll not be like gray but yeah it'll, it'll, it'll be put on the shelf yeah as long as you catch oh i already caught oh, i have a flush and i forgot i have one of those oh no like what i'm meaning is like when they evolve do they give you a separate book or yeah they give you another book to place it in so don't you need to end up evolving all of these pokemon as well yeah some of them yeah we'll have to but not all of them are... You have to evolve. Uh, Alright. Now let me show you the new Pokemon it is before I grab dinner. Uh, like, I, I can eat dinner at the same time. Uh, while hmm. I'm eat playing. I just re 